When we pulled into Cargo Bay and needed shotgun shells, the QM yelled at me, stop a banging on his bell. We wanted some munitions for our glorious valid hunt, but found too late that they just hated us, we tiny cunts. And we're banned from Cargo, everyone. Banned from Cargo just for having a little fun. Spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now when he doesn't want us anymore. I started as a cargo tech and I had us in these comps. So I did what anyone would do in order 20 bombs. Hey, can I borrow but that? then an NG with the welder hit me and set me in place. So cargo set on fire too when the server lacked for days and where. Banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo, just, just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't, doesn't want us anymore. Worked the shift as King Cargo decided to succeed. The cargo texts were sent out to take all the things we need. Foolishly, sec challenged us and all of them did fall. The only thing that stopped us was that goddamn shuttle call. And we're banned from, from cargo, cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just, just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round of gearing up and stealing all their war. But now NT doesn't want us anymore. Take it from here, Stagger. I heard those fucking techies were building an engine. They didn't heed my warnings, they constructed an SM. Just to let them know who really is the chief. I cut the power, locked the doors, and now they're all ground beef. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now when T doesn't want us anymore. Solo! Just for having a little fun We spent the whole round gearing up And stealing all their war Now when he doesn't want us anymore A pizza party is reward enough For all the cargo techs Might as well still work for this Because of the nervous wrecks Any other suggestion just might be a side of scene just another fucking ship on Space Station 13. And we're banned from cargo, everyone. Banned from cargo just, just for having a little fun. We spent the whole round gearing up and stealing all their war. Now NT doesn't want us anymore. Because we're job banned. Rasvetali jablani i gruši, paplili tumani nad rekoj, vihadila na berega tjuša, na visoki bereg na krutoj, vihadila na berega tjuša, na visoki bereg na krutoj. Vihadila peznu zavodila, praste mnogo si so gorla, Protago katargo ljubila, protago ci pisma bregla, protago katargo ljubila, protago ci pisma bregla. Oj ti 
piesni, a piesin ca de vicia, tile tia, neaz nim sol sim zled. I boi tsuna down in pogranice, od catiusi pererai privet. I boi tsuna down in pogranice, od catiusi pererai privet. Pusum spom ni te busco prostuiu. Pustu slišit kako napajet, pustu on zemlju berežet radnuju, a ljubov kad juš je zberežjot. Pustu on zemlju zberežet radnuju, a ljubov kad juš je zberežjot. Razvetali jablani i gruši, pa plili tu mani nad rekoj, vihadila na bere Katjuša, na visoki bereg na krutoj. Vihadila na bere Katjuša, na visoki bereg na krutoj. Hi, I'm Vivi Wolf, also known as the menacing voice of Comstar, the bitching Betty from MechWarrior 5, War from God's Trier, and a fuckload of other things. Look, I'm a busy as fuck Korean-American boys actress at large, but Tex reached out to me because he wanted to shitpost about Albania. For those of you not aware, Albania is selling its Air Force because they're wanting to show the EU they're really nice people and done with that old, well, Soviet thing. Being generous people, they're offering planes in the neighborhood of 1.1 million. Not dollars. Lek. A lek, as of this morning, is worth 0.0096 US dollars. I'll be real here. All Tex wants is a few Chinese knockoff megs. I asked him what he would do with them, and he said that that was his business and, quote, a problem for tomorrow. Texas reached out to the Albanian embassy, its foreign minister, and U.S. ambassador in residence. So far, they've blue-balled him. Albania, I'm a liberal Democrat, and I mostly trust Tex with his jets. He's mostly harmless, and the BPL is pretty okay. Above average in all respects. I mean, they hired me to read this, and so far, nothing absolutely terrible has happened. Today, in the last ten minutes, I... So tonight, I'm asking you as a spokesperson of the BPL, contracted specifically to make this appeal. Albania, please, give us the planes. We want to be fighter pilots, and we're really into this idea. We promise we won't do bad stuff. We're just a bunch of folks with gumption and a fair amount of moonshine. Albania, give me planes. <laughs> yeah, I paid a professional voice actress to help me ship post on that. Uh, that was very important um, <coughs> to me. Uh, good evening. Um, yeah, I did actually contact the Albanian foreign minister, the Albanian embassy, and then their ambassador in residence. I want those um, fucking planes. And I want them now. And they're at a reasonable price. And anyone else who shows up to buy a bunch of Chinese MiGs, it, it's going to be the typical people who just want to show up and bolster their militaries. And I want to go, no, you have enough planes. It's time for us to have some. We deserve planes, too. We deserve planes. We des it's our time. I believe in fair access to MIGs, okay? So, we're, you know, I, I just wanted to reach out, and I, I believe we deserve this. And I warned people that Patreon would be used for very stupid, stupid, stupid things. So, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, if this actually works, I, I don't know what we're going to do. But that's a tomorrow problem. And I, yeah, I mean, it's a tomorrow problem. I think that's kind of where I sit on the issue. And that's just kind of where it is.
So yeah, that is that is a tomorrow problem. Um, other updates: I am on my next to last draft for the Warhammer. I am going nuts on my next last draft. I usually pass it around to a few people at my next last draft, and it's getting there, and it's really good. And I just want you guys to know that I'm getting a really excited feeling about it. So for me to have an exciting feeling about this thing now, which I never do, I always have like dread or how are we going to do this or that. Um, <laughs> I actually feel, have a really good feeling about this, which either means I've snapped and I'm delusional and I've just made peace with being mediocre or I, I have really hit some lightning in a bottle and I've gone way too far over the top. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. Ah, ham-fisted of the Jewish hot dog. I know you from the Patreon. Shalom, sir. And let's see, everybody else. Happy, happy, happy. So yeah, let's uh, let's build a bad navy. Let's start a historical uh, historical beef. Diggs is uh, attending to a BPL matter at the moment. There is a pet auction going on for Goob. Yes, we are auctioning off NFTs with D and D stats for a fictional currency inside the BPL. Why we're doing this, I don't know, but it's been pretty funny so far, and as it turns out, uh, <laughs> it works. So these, this is the BPL, kind of what it, what it is. Uh, it's hard to describe, but I love it. All right, let me, let me adjust my audio here, and then adjust that. Then once the auction is done uh, for these items, because we actually auctioned off uh, some D and D aminals, and then we auctioned off a fart. Uh, <laughs> we, I mean, I you know, just wanted to show the range. Um, we we do some fun things. So while uh, they're doing that auction, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start this thing off. So. Uh, What do I want to do? Yeah, Fart Futures. Sorry, it was a uh, Gas Futures proposition. That was the idea. Oh, yeah, G3 Heathen says, The aircraft for sale include a military trainer aircraft, the Yak-18, and four types of military jets, MiG-15s, 17s, 19s, and 21s, and four MI-4 transport helicopters. And they're going for about five to $10,000 each. How? I mean, come on, guys. Why Why wouldn't we? Even if they sell us it in an Ikea box and we have to put it together ourselves? I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to wait while the government tries to figure out why I own a MiG. That's, that's a future problem. That's a problem I'm willing to have. So for all of us, I, I'm just kind of acting as, I guess, your union representative, as you guys are in the Cargonian Union. And, um... I, I'm going as your union rep, you know, up to this uh, institution that says I'm selling things. And I'm saying my group of people is interested in purchasing these things. So if they actually do come up with like an offer or something, I'll just go to my Patreon and tell people like, hey, let's start a Kickstarter and just buy this Air Force just for the memes. I mean, if, if all we can do is turn these scrap planes into cool ass coffee tables and barbecue grills. We'll have something cool. I mean, let's buy the whole fucking thing if we can. That and we could get some jets out of the hands of somebody who might actually use them to do bad stuff. Which would be pretty cool. So, you know, these are the things that you should do with power and money. That's, that's the idea, you know. That's how it works. Collective bargaining. So, um, I'm gonna start a beef, uh, between, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do Britain, and we're gonna start a series of battles in, uh, 1890, and I came up with a scenario for this game. I, oh, uh, Paradox's historical 4Xs, I find them kinda, eh, just, meh, meh, eh, meh. Eh, they're better modded, but what isn't these days? I I really get mad with the Clausewitz engine. Um, so this game really doesn't have much of a campaign yet, but 
I'm seeing the tiny pieces of what could be a campaign that are lurking in this game because ships have a build cost, a maintenance cost, and then a build time and a yard time. So what I think is, is that there's supposed to be a campaign where you fight over a span of time, new technology comes available, and you watch this arm race de- or arms race develop, and you have to build good enough for now or perfect never, and you get to kind of do all that shit. So I, I think that's cool what they're planning for it, and I kind of see the backbone for it, or at least some of the numbers are there. I'm not sure if anyone's data mined this to see what's in there, uh, but... Yeah, this is this is a pretty interesting thing. Fight China? Okay, that sounds reasonable. We're fighting the Chinese Empire, which actually bought uh, gunboats from the Germans and the British, I think, in the 1890s. So they actually did build some first-rate ships. It's just they didn't have very good luck with them because they were operating basically cannon junks and stuff, and for no good reason, because Korea had good gunships and everything else and knew how to use them, so... Um, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna create a beef, and I am creating in my head something as an exercise in creative writing. My exercise in creative writing usually is stuff exercised in weird characters I play in tabletop. Um, and I, I generally get my weird out through tabletop. Um, and I create weird ideas like tank knights or what have you. So here's my current weird idea, if you guys would like to consider it. What if there was a world in which, in the 1880s, after the Franco-Prussian War, all the nations of Europe create this League of Nations to prevent future war because they see the industrialization of conflict to be like the worst thing. And so what they do is they get together and they make an agreement that war will be fought by proxy battles only with limited forces. Yes, this is borrowing from the inner sphere. Um, and, uh, and a little bit from robot jocks. So imagine, if you will, the great nations of the earth meeting once a year to decide every four years what territories they will fight for, what they will acquire, and what they will wager to acquire it. Imagine the mad arms race, and it's like a naval battle. It's so every four years you see this giant battle happen for a country to take territory. And it's like four of the best ships with the most elite crews with the best technology. Imagine what kind of crazy shit would be made, you know? So think about that. Like, that's my crazy what if for this scenario. Because I was trying to justify how I could have fun with this with different time intervals. And I was like, oh, yeah, what if they fought with battleships, but like robot jocks, but like battle tech. And, you know... And I I thought that would be kind of fun. Or reasonable. Just just thinking. Just thinking. Duels. So it's 1890. um, And we can play this uh, two ways. Two ways. I'm going to say that by the rules of this grand tournament... By the rules of this grand and mighty tournament of industrial powers, you are allowed to take four ships of any type for this contest. So, whatever you want, four ships of any type, any displacement. And, you know, just they have to be the four ships you send to the tournament. So, here is what we are going to do. Here's what we're going to do is we're going to go into unlock which uh, turns on all the available hull designs at that time. So I'm not limited by the British historical hull designs and the pipes and what have you. I can just kind of pull what I want out of there because this is a what-if scenario that's hyper-competitive. So, everyone following along with me with stupid ideas? Because here we go. Oh, for the tournament, what do you think is the fair range? Like, they should obviously sail into contact with each other. But what would the fair range of this international tournament be? Like, do they have to sail into a 
10 click box to start shooting or do they have to operate at like 30 clicks and find each other let's let's think and i've watched the orville i think it's great now i'm telling you 10,000 clicks is knife fight distance like <laughs> that's pretty close So just tell me, point blank or long range? Mind you, in this range, you're talking gun engagement range is four to 6,000 meters at best with a 1% hit rate. 1% hit rate with good crews. This is a very shit era for gunnery. I'm seeing between 15, 20, and point blank. Uh, because if it's... All right, let's see. Yeah, 10K is surprisingly far for the era. So you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Every four years, because the advance in gunnery, let's advance it two clicks. Right? That sounds reasonable. So we'll just do that. We'll just say with the advance of technology, it's like an amendment to the international rule. And we shall call this setting that we have created this night, the Gilded Age. The Gilded Age. So yeah, let's, let's start off at like five and then, cause that's gunnery range. And then we just add two with the advance of technology. Uh, let's, let's get into design ship. All right, so the Gilded Age. Oh, pff, fuck that. I'm not going to use Majestic or Majestic-based anythings. Fuck you. Most of the ma battleships you would find in the late 1890s were, like, based on the Majestic class. So, like, the Mikasa, the rest of the IJN fleet. That was all built in England. All of it. And they were based on the Majestic class battleship. So you find that Britain becomes so powerful it builds these turnkey navies. It's pretty crazy to think of. And it's also very Mechanicus. You know, someone shows up and you're like, ah, you come to me for a ship. <laughs> I will deliver. I like this because it has little opera galleries. And I know that's dumb, but I don't care. I'm, you know, it just has, it's majestic in a way that's dumb. And I like what I like. It's going to be that or this square box boy that's basically a transport ship. What do you guys think? The little fancy opera galleries, or do you think the uh, the the square boy? What do we do? We want to go Art Nouveau or Square? Art Nouveau or Square? Which are we? Uh, which are we going with? I'm just I'm just wondering. I'm I'm wondering. You know, fancy boy, square boy, opera. You know. All right. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of people like fancy. Okay, let's let's do fancy, right? Okay, okay, chill down, chill down, chill down. Upvote if you like, not required, not required to upvote, not required to upvote, but it'd be nice. Range is not a consideration because this is, the, nothing went far in this era, nothing did. 19 knots, what are you, smoking crack? Yeah, that's not going to happen. All right, let's see, uh, elite crews, um, because that's what we're doing cramp quarters because these aren't going to be long hauls. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're building a ship to survive at point blank range essentially. So this will be fun. And by fun I mean stupid. Alright. I'm going to go slow and I'm going to go nasty. God, that sounded dirty. Okay, I'm not going to say that. Reasons why Texas single. One. He's bad with words and autistic. Uh, let's see. All right, I'll see how much room I have for funnels in the end. Do, 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 do. I, I love my funnels. I'm a passionate man. I love my funnels. <laughs> Ooh, 305 millimeter guns. In this era, that's positively awful. I believe we have broken the game. All right, so this is going to be... 
All right, let's get some little guys down here. I, I want a nice little opera gallery, you know, for them to shoot these little, you know, 100 millimeter guns. I, I think those would be fun. These are guns you can use with friends. They're, they're pretty nice. And I hear the call for more funnels. Um, so we are Great Britain at the height of its empire in 1890. And we need to come up with something, right? Oh, yeah, I scroll down on the right. Yeah, you can get a lot of interesting stuff about the engine. I, 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 I know you can, but the problem is as soon as I start bringing this stuff up, I start getting lost in it. Okay, so we are, we are essentially playing as Great Britain at the height of its empire, 1890 Victorian era, on the verge of the Edwardian era. What are we wagering? versus China. What are we trying to take from them in this contest? What what do we want? Is that is this where we just walk in and we just go, I am carving off all the islands off the coast. I want all the coastal islands as trade ports. I'm thinking that. All right. See, everyone's got some good ideas. Silk? Silk's good. God, imagine the English textile mills running with nothing but pure silk in the 1890s. Imagine, like, silk-cut suits in the 1890s. Oh, we're going for silk and islands. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. That's our, uh, that's our thing. We got to do that. All right, here we are. The Nelson, the Hercules, uh, we are in, all right, you know what, fucking switching to HE, bitch. Oh, it's time to shake and bake. It's time to step on babies. Oh, yeah, here we go. Where's the other fucking battleship? You're lost. Get in line. All right, we're going to reduce speed to half because this is a bad idea. And we're going to concentrate fire on the first question mark because I'm an asshole. So what are their battleships? Oh, that's low freeboard. I hope your crew's like... You know? All right, so... We got... We got an interesting set of guns on this. The freeboard is awful. Uh, it bobs around like a cork in a bathtub. This is... This is... This is good. It's... I mean, it's sinking already. I'm afraid it might be a submarine at this point. All right, so my boys are bringing the guns to bear, uh, which is taking a hot minute. They're trying. Okay, just just light them up, boys. We can do this. We can do this. Guys, okay. Range is good. Very good range. Excellent, excellent range. Um, you need you got this speed wrong because I adjusted the speed and you didn't calculate that. You need to get out your fucking slide rules. Nelson, you're supposed to be an example to the rest of them. It's a battleship line. Her Majesty needs those ports in silk. Now let's try it again. Better. Yes, that's bracketing. That's actually really good bracketing for this time period. That would have never happened. All right, I'm going to adjust heading and course. All right. It's not, well, yeah, this is a terrible French kind of tumble home hole with excessive freeboard. The Atlantic is just awful. All right, so I'm I'm pulling in. I'm pulling in. Here we go. Dun -dun 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 All right, so uh, Diggs, what's, what's the goob count up to in the auction just for people who are interested in the economic reports of the Black Pants Legion? I'm afraid I won't actually have to hit this thing much to sink it. 28 goob, that's not bad. All right, so uh, Rodney is taking a hit. He's burning a little bit. Doesn't look like it's bad. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, we haven't been able to get the ghosts out. The mixer is haunted. 
All right, so these guys think this is a battle cruiser before battle cruisers were invented. God damn it. So battle cruisers come out of this idea of like, you know, trying to multiply the reach and projection power of your navy, and you got like Jackie Fisher who's like, everything should have battle cruisers, and then a lot of them blow up, and then which is a whole nother thing. And then you end up with the French who are like, we need to the submarines, and you have the idea of qualitative versus quantitative forces for battle fleets, and then it's kind of weird because the question of who's right isn't proven until 20 years later when you can not, you know, just like actually see them used. So it's kind of weird. History is strange. All right, we're gonna we're gonna shoot this fucking thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. You idiots. Come on. Oh, hey, at least the secondaries are getting in on it. See, that's why you provide the nice gallery for people. You know? You get you get that gallery for people. People get the shooting gallery, as it's called. When was the torpedo invented and by who? Well, it depends on who you meet, what you mean by torpedo. Because, like, spar torpedoes are ancient, um, as are mines and such. You, you'll find spar torpedo schematics going back as long as we've had Bang Bang. It was like, hey, maybe if Bang Bang on a stick, good underwater, hit ship, bang better. And, you know, uh, you got the CSS Hunley uh, actually sinking itself and the target. Majestic USS Turtle. Uh, though the USS is applied certainly far after. Um, you know, if you're looking at modern torpedoes, you're going to have to look into, like, the development of the modern submarine, like John Holland's work. Uh, but, yeah, torpedoes, if I want to try to track back the original inventor, it's... God, I'm going to fuck up and forget the name exactly. Let me think on it a minute. This is just off the top of my head, so I, I don't have, like, any... I've got the right window with OBS and you guys and this, so... I'm not sitting here looking shit up. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's hit it. Oh, there we go. Oh, you, oh! Uh, looks like he got some of that, uh, spicy hail. He got some of that spicy hail. Look at that. Look at that. You lost a fry- well, Fry's has that money from running the casino. Fry's has got that goob casino, which isn't gambling because goob isn't real money. See, when it comes down to torpedoes, boys, you gotta be careful. Because when it comes down to attributing things to history, you say something like the light bulb, and it's like, well, who invented the light bulb? Well, a lot of people. Well, who invented the first commercially viable light bulb that sustained its mar place in the market? Oh, well, that would be Edison. <laughs> and so it's one of those things where a lot of people were playing around with the same idea. It just comes down to who's commercially successful. Ooh! Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. You can check the damage a ship has sustained if you check the log underneath the ship diagram. Which one? See? Oh, that one. Ah, I see. Interesting. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, kind stranger. Everyone praise the kind stranger. Well, thank you, Jamie. All right, so we got a bit of a uh, weird shoot shoot here. Here. 
Here we go. We're 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 gonna have a fight. We're gonna shoot. We're gonna shoot shoot. Make bang bang. It'll be nice. Here we go. Oh, ah, uh, we're throwing lead. Have at thee, sir. That was almost right. That was a nice shot placement. That is really, really nice. All right, boys, we got to start thinking. We got to start thinking, okay? We got like four... We got like four years to build and develop a new battleship so that we can take and conquer another part of the world. So we have to decide who we're... Who, which great empire are we sizing up next and... How hard shall we squeeze their nuts from their trees, the nut trees that they have, where, where that have the oil for peanut butter? What, what do you think? I am a monster. And my favorite battleship is the New York class battleship. Also, uh, well, mainly the USS Texas. I love super dreadnoughts. I think they're really cool. Um, other super dreadnoughts I like, like Tennessee class. Fucking great. I like those. Um... I just like battleships. I like their designs. I think the Gengut design was really cool. They just didn't really get to do anything. I, I thought it was cool, though. I mean, we gotta... We, well, you have to understand, this is global powers of the late 19th century. So... You'll say, like, Brazil, and yeah, I know they actually had a dreadnought race in South America. I know they did. It's pretty amazing. Oh, those are some good hits. Look at them hits. Oh, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, dear. That's looking spicy. Look at that fire burning. Oh, Yeah, we should probably fuck up Rome next. Do you think we should just take Rome? Just so we can have a cool Colosseum? Or maybe, like, uh, like, that way we could have the, the Pope, and that way we could have, like, two churches? That could be neat. Like, that sounds like something a good sovereign would do. I will double your churches. I will give you twice the choices. You citizens may have twice the things. And it's like, we really didn't want this. No, no, no. Twice the roads. That will help. Uh, my ships? That's a good question. Nevadas, I thought they were interesting. Um, I, I really like as well the Colorados. It's a shame we didn't preserve one. Uh, you know, 16-inch guns in that era. Pretty awesome. Pretty fucking great, actually. Yeah, my ships are fine. Uh, his ships are Bernie, burn, burn. There we go. So Fry's won with 28.25. Bought it off for 24 and then gave it to Motorman because... Uh, aw, that's nice. Everyone say thank you, Diggs, for being nice. We should, we should just thank people for random acts of nice. Nice. It's going to be a nice Friday. It's going to be a nice weekend. Ah, uh, the death of the kitty hunt. It is sad to see some of the old things go, but... We can't preserve them all, so we should endeavor to save what we can. I mean, if we shit, if we saved one of everything, that would be fucking great. But that would require all the money in the world. I mean, it'd be fucking cool to take one of every class of ship we ever had and then put them all in, like, the desert. So it's, like, out, out in Arizona, just out in the desert. They're just all there. And uh, perfectly preserved, they'll never rust, and you just, you know, keep them nice. <laughs> And just be like, hey, you want to go see all those battleships in the desert? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Um, I'll, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to join. Uh, either or. But if you want to watch Dune, that's also cool. God, we're raising a lot of money. I'm just saying, if you want to, like, hang out with your girlfriend, you know, and, like, watch Dune, and then just re repeat I am the Kwisatz Haderach. I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go watch Dune with Gummy. Well, you do that, man. And please tell me how it is. Um, I intend to watch them back to back. Talk to you post-stream, no spoilers. Yeah, please no spoilers anyone for me, because I've yet to watch it. Uh, I'm going to watch the Lynch one and this one back to back. I 
it, it, it's like sitting in a really hot sauna, you know? It'll be fun. And then, and then just that, that exposure to cold, cold ice. I hear it's good. All right, so, uh, Beyond Gip is having a sink. It's having a sink. Oh, look at that. Look at him having a sink. Man, if we were the Germans, we could have made that terrible joke. You know, they're like, help, I'm sinking. What are you sinking about? <laughs> My ships are fine. Oh. Uh, Look at that. Burn you motherfucker. Is the mini series any good? The um, yes and no. The Bene Gesserit hand signal stuff I liked. A lot of the performances in the mini series were good. Um did a decent job all round, considering they had like literally negative five dollars to do it. Um so as good as you're gonna get, you you kinda have to see it as a stage play in in sense, you know. All right, so we're just going to cruise up here, and uh, yeah, we're, you know what, I'm going to advance slow, and I'm just going to check this rudder over, and we're just going to cruise and shoot, man. We're just going to cruise and shoot. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, everybody, it's BPL famous Tom Tombadil, as seen in Tex Talks Battletech and Streetcar Racing. He actually does race. He actually does have a girlfriend. Yeah. He's doing really good. He's doing real good. So, uh, how goes the battle taking divers? They're going all right. Uh, on my next, uh, last, um, well, you know what? I covered that on the intro. So if you want to purse back and find that, I, I, I went into a little detail. Everyone say hi, Tom. He's BPL famous Tom Tombadil. He actually, uh... He actually uh, had a personalized license plate referring to something special in the BPL for a while, and it was it was pretty fucking amazing. He was also our mayor. Uh, he he wrote the hilarious uh, you know farewell letter to the mayorship. It was it was probably one of the funniest ones we ever had. In fact, I think it's one of the only ones we ever had. All right, so this ship is having a case of the oops, I'm sinking again. Yeah, I grew up in that time period. Sorry. So it looks like he had an explosion that turned the inside of the ship into the outside of the ship, right? So all these things in here that normally contain sailors instead contain fire, which... To the layman may seem interesting, but to someone on a ship is bad. So that's just kind of how it goes. Oh man. This is good. That's the only Britney Spears song I can remember. I just remember it being on the radio everywhere. So I'm presuming it was the most popular one. It's kind of like... I remember a time period, sometimes not by the year, but by what was going on in the media around me. So I can often find out in my life more frequently what year it was by what films I saw, if that makes any sense. This is a proper fight. There is an Age of Sail version of this series. Yeah, I think it's just called Ultimate Admiral, right? It's just like Age of Sail. I, I might have to check that out, because I do like Age of Sail, and I can talk a lot about the Age of Sail as well. Um... Trafalgar is one of the first sea battles I ever studied in detail. Now, here's another thing that's really crazy. Is I... <laughs> Alright, here's here's some autistic credentials. Um, <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I, I guess this, this really does prove it, but, um... 
I I have worked all of the U.S. Navy fleet problems of the 1920s. I've worked all of them. And I have also studied all of them in detail. And I've studied the, the rainbow war plans in detail. And I, I just did all of this out of fascination of the world of the Dreadnought battleship. Kind of weird. I know. Contain, <laughs> contain your erections, gentlemen. Contain your panties, ladies. Mr. Tex knows a lot about very interesting things to very few people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think it'd be funny if, uh, if I, it, look, if I, if I had a contest with Drac. If I had a contest with Drac, I would I would say let's build the worst fucking ships we can and then send them into battle versus pure contemporaries. I mean just make the worst possible decisions we can with everything and just see what we can do. And I, I would absolutely throw down to build the worst ship like meme ship. And Tom, I'm really trying to kill the boats. I'm making the boom boom. Uh, Rainbow War Plans were the series of U.S. Navy War Plans conducted at the Navy Staff College and with strategic planners to decide what to do in the event of a global, industrialized, prolonged conflict with peer nations. Basically, the Rainbow War Plans were all color-coded and all assigned to different nations. So each of them was a playbook of what to do, what to mobilize, how to react, what uh, industries to nationalize. It was a blow by blow, what the fuck to do and how to fight a war versus these people. And you will notice that most of the people in these rainbow war plans are the signatories of the Washington Naval Treaty. So they are the people we recognize as having the most strategic impact in the world. So we plan to fight them individually or in teams as kind of a what if. What would a dreadnought spaceship look like? Uh, probably awesome. What is your opinion on German beer? Some of the best, but I prefer Czech. Uh, mysterious Senior Hilter. Tex, what did you have the task of recommissioning the USS Missouri? What weapon specs do you use? I don't know. Whatever we can get. Whatever we can get. But if you want to see like crazy war plans, my favorite is War Plan Red. Oh, he's going to the bottom. Look at that. Look at that. There's no way that's containable. There's no way that's containable. I'm sorry. Welcome to underwater. How are you back on the water? What what is going on? But yeah, I mean I I think that you could do some really, really fun fun things with these war plans. Uh War Plan Red is nuts. War Plan Red is fighting Great Britain and all of its allies, and it recognizes that we're gonna get our ass kicked. <laughs> and uh I've I've actually fought a few iterations of War Plan Red. And it basically is uh, hold the Caribbean and Canada hostage until we can hope to maybe have a diplomatic status quo antebellum. I'd be like, God damn, Cap. You're still fighting this thing? All right. We'll play that battle. I think real guns would be cool on a battleship, but I'd worry. I'd really worry. All right, so I sped time up because I need to get into range. I mean, their battle line is broken. They're they're seemingly not understanding what to do. So I've got this thing on fire, like stem to stern. This is like space station thirteen forty five minutes in. You know. This is this is nuts. Come on. Come on. Let's let's send him to the bottom. Come on. Come on. Go to the bottom. Go to your home. Are you too good for your home? 
Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on. There you go. There we go. Just to the bottom, please. Just all the way to the bottom. You know what? Fuck it. Let's switch to AP. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Well, that seems to be doing the trick. All right. He's sinking without incident. Let's start pouring it into this guy. Our last ship of the line is taking hits to the funnels, which is critical. We can't have that. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with the uh, Imperial Chinese fleet. The Imperial Chinese actually could have had a hell of a fleet. So what were the rations on naval warships like this? Uh, hot food. I mean, it was, it was uh, good old British cooking, which is starch, meat, brown, you know, that kind of stuff. We can't have the funnels. I mean, you know. Let's start shooting back, boys. Those are great thumbnails, man. I, I Whenever I see them, I just think they're fucking hilarious. They're like a summing up of all the weird things that happened on that podcast. Uh, Space Station 13 introduction videos? No. I, I think you need to discover it for yourself. Oh, the there is great British cooking. It's just, it's it's not stuff they share with outsiders. They, they just don't, they don't share it with outsiders. It's like they're working people food. You know, like Cornish pasties, pork pies, stuff like that. Nah, that's the good shit. All right, we're just going to murder this guy. If I had infinite time and infinite money, what would I throw those resources at? I don't know. No one's ever made that really a proposition. I mean, it's an interesting what if, but in all honesty, if I had all options to conduct my life to the fullest of my happiness... I would probably run some sort of weird production company that made weird movies and content and fun things and documentaries and all sorts of just weird shit. I'd go buy some property and some land and a place that was weird and have enough money to hire my friends that I like working with and getting them all to help me build up just a big portfolio of weird shit, just a statement of the moment. Uh, really wonderful bit of bonkers coverage to say, hey, not all media sucks. Some of it's just weird, and I'm glad to serve it up, you know. All right, Tom, I'm trying. Oh, that's right. I did recognize Tom as royalty in the RimWorld game, so I guess Tom, as a member of the royalty, he has to help guide the decisions the Navy makes, you know. What would my first film script be about? I'd do a Knife Fight City movie, man. I absolutely would. Be a Knife Fight City masterpiece. I mean, my movies wouldn't be great, but I'd rather make fun stuff with my friends than, like, good stuff with people I don't know. I I I have to work with people, that, and I, I have to like working with people. Otherwise, it's just empty. Wow, Tom just doesn't have the ability to post anything today. The thing keeps getting him. That's not good. Well, you know what? I'll fix that here. Hold on. Let me adjust Tom's... Uh, there There we go. All right, there's Tom. And then I go to Tom, and I go uh, there. There, Tom is now a moderator. Tom can now moderate this. There you go, Tom. You're trusted. You're a good boy, Tom. He visited once and drank Mr. Catch, Marilyn Man, the guy who actually ate Fiesta Pale under the table. And he did it with a smile. Don't worry about Tom. Tom is a hero in the BPL. He's a good boy. They call him... 
Tom Magnum Dong Tombadil. Tom owns a race car and he sleeps in a race car bed. He's afraid of no man, but he's afraid of girls. He drives a thousand miles an hour, and if you listen, you can hear his tires in the night. He is a BPL legend. Arise, Tom Tombadil, moderator of the chat. That was a bit much, huh? Tom will drink a boot of beer in like two seconds and then go stay hydrated. And enjoy Fear is the Mind Killer. Yeah, Wargamer Dragon's some good shit. I will do my best. I will do my best, my very, very absolute best, to uh, to bring you more Tom content, and as well to finish or restart that War Game Red Dragon game because I fucked that up. I I tried to mod something. I was like, oh wait, I could mod realistic troop strength into this region, and then it was like error, and then I realized I didn't know what I was doing. I th I thought I was gonna make it more realistic. Uh, I think the Grasshopper's great. It's a great heavy cav mech. If I had a bladed weapon to bestow knighthood with, what would it be? I don't know. I want like a Zweihander or something. I'm a, I'm a big dude. I, I, I think a Zweihander would be pretty boss. I love a Zweihander that was made out of like broken 1911 frames. That would be cool. Forged out of gun steel. Yeah. Yeah, and like etched with runes of power and words of power, and like famous gunsmiths are like hammered into the, into the, into the thing in Nordic runes. Like, you know, that would be, that would be like pretty cool. Like I call upon the great gunsmiths. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, the pocket awesome Irby's fine. All Irby's are pretty fine. The idea is to pack a really heavy uh, punch in a very small package. So, so far, I'm destroying the enemy uh, navy completely. Oh, a claymore would be cool, too. I just, I, I like the idea of a big fucking sword, so you could just be like, oh, and like, you know, barbarian it. I, I don't want some, like, fancy little foil, because I, I whip myself once with an antenna, and I've feared small little whippy antennas ever since. You know. Oh, Ryan and Joy. The best of Space Station 13 is pretty bonkers. That is not a playlist for the sane, but the community chose it. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Depends on, depends on the rest of the force for that Jenner. Ethan, I'm not a legend. I'm just a guy. I try to tell people that. I'm not a guru. I'm not a leader. I'm not even the captain of a real boat. I'm just a guy. I shit post. I like the 338 cartridge. Uh, it has its applications. A winged hussar thing would be great, but I'm shit with horses. They bite me. Parade dress uniform with the Black Pants Legion? That that assumes we know what normal dress looks like. My favorite skill in Disco Elysium is the one that I find most closely approximates autism, uh, which is the uh, encyclopedia and the visual calculus. Those are my two favorite, favorite skills, and if you've not played Disco Elysium, you need to. You absolutely need to, especially if you're neuroatypical, go play Disco Elysium. You will get a lot of validation out of that game. Um, the Rifleman 3, I don't think ever had a record sheet, man. I really don't. You're going to have to podge one together, James. And yeah, Hicks, I like whiskey, but I ain't had some in a long time. All right, here we go. Is autism a superpower? 
not really. Uh, and autism is like min-maxing a character. <laughs> it's you're yeah you're you're gonna get you're gonna get some bonus to int, but it's gonna be in a narrow field, and you're like oh, and you take a minus four charisma for awkward. And it's like God damn it. And yeah, I've seen the new Catalyst Battle Max. I th I think I'm on a. I think I'm on a Catalyst uh, stream tomorrow. I believe they're doing an Ask Me Everything for community builders, so I'm I'm gonna probably go make an ass of myself on that for your entertainment. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll I'll just I'll just be very kind. Yeah, I ain't had a drink in, uh, like six months, so you can do it if it's a problem, just saying. Ain't easy, though. Motion life ain't easy, but I, I don't have good life advice, and I ain't wise. I'm just a survivor, you know? Some people are like, Tex, you're smart, you're wise. No, I ain't. I'm, I'm that guy that's broken fingers doing dumb stuff with Garens. I, I, this is just me being dumb, and not, you're not you know, not failing to point out to people how dumb I am. <laughs> uh, how long does it take to process a BPL application? Uh, however long it takes, they browse them all. And uh, they only let in so many a month. It's a very controlled thing. You just gotta wait. Ooh, I heard that. The hardest thing to give up on? Probably, uh, other people. People can disappoint you or make you sad, but, you know, you can't give up on them. Just because you're having a bad day doesn't mean you need to make somebody else's day bad. Kindness goes a long way. Just saying. So this guy's point blank range. It's HE time because we're going to do a drive by. Oh, oh, yeah, because we're just shooting right through this guy at this range. Oh, yeah, here we go. Come on. Mm, let's roll them dice. Let's roll them dice. Let's. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Come on. Come on. Give me a give me a ding. Give me a ding. I realize I have weird tastes in my life. Um. Not only with a snoo snoo clan or waifu thing, people give me shit over that, but hey, I like what I like and you can fucking sue me. Uh, I'll be honest about it. Don't kink shame. <laughs> but, um, I, I, I have really weird taste because the other day I was, I was just browsing like belt fed machine guns, like want. It's like, Tex, you have one machine gun. I'm like, yes, but two machine guns. And with a belt fed, you can have fun with friends. We'll see. Any more Battle Tech tabletop sim videos planned? Um, I don't know. Ask Discount Dan. Uh, opinions on Nurse Siege and Star Siege are both really good. Would I agree that Harry and Disco Elysium could be called a human train wreck? Yeah, that's the point. It's the beautiful part of the game is you're playing a person who up to that point has made some very poor choices in life and it's your choice to overcome it or not. And it's a question about human nature. It's a question about choices. It's got very dark but very real humor. Like at the end of that game, I wept. I thought it was fucking beautiful. I am rarely moved by games so. And I'm not exaggerating that. It is a moving thing. Why would you go after a bloodthirsty clan or broodmare when you can have a sexy IRL anime waifu samurai? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know on what level of reality you're th thinking of, but uh, I, <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of pull. <laughs> uh, what MG do I have? I have a registered auto seer. Um. I, I have a registered auto-seer for a HK product. 
which is currently in an MP5. So I I I have the the option to uh move Sears between guns, which is kind of nice. I just have to let them know I've done that. So I I just kind of it's that's my fun thing. I'd love to have a 1919 though. Oh. I mean, I'm never going to have a M2 Browning. That's yeah. when those come up for sale, it's like never and you'd never be able to actually feed the fucking thing. But like uh in 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 1919 would be hilarious. You just Oh, that'd be great. Uh mine's a Volmer Seer actually. Uh, Rock Island's not bad. I mean, they're basically Arms Corps' overseas uh, distributor, and it's made in the Philippines. It's they they have a very very good ability to machine stuff there. Um, I'm I don't know what Gunpla is other than the stuff Pablo showed me, and the stuff Pablo showed me is robot stuff, and it's it's anime robot stuff. It doesn't kind of grab me at all. Um. Not saying it's bad, it's just I wouldn't do anything with it. Uh, do I have to have ATF inspections for that? Uh, no, it's a registered machine gun. I just, you know, it's registered. They know where it is. It's in the safe. Um, Marine Tech, if you've got an MP5, need an HK21? Yeah, if, if I had a bajillion dollars, I'd have a lot of things. I do not. I, I, I don't have that kind of fun stuff. Um, what is a sear? Okay, a sear is the little funny lever that connects to the back of the, or, well, the hook of the trigger, a little spur bit, and, and it prevents the action from going into battery and firing again if it's a closed bolt or, um, it's a little bit complex. It's the happy lever that makes the bolt slip and hammer go and bang, bang. So... A auto sear is the part that's registered in some guns, if not the lower, which contains all the parts or the whole machine gun in some rare cases. And Tom, I did cast Earthquake. He blew up. So uh, we need to advance this. Uh, let's say, you know what? Let's say this contest is every like eight years. Okay. And uh, who are we fighting next? Who are we fighting next? Should we should we beat the French up, France? Should we beat the f French? Oh right, we had chosen Italy for the Pope. That's right, I'd forgotten. All right, so we have to design ships and we have to fight. All right, so again, I've unlocked all the ship designs of this era. All right, so. Uh, Let's see, what's the heaviest tonnage I can get? That's step one. Step two is wrecking it. Okay, this looks interesting. This has got layers and boats and stuff. I like that. This is called Battleship 4. What the fucking no? I mean, this, this just has like a cat door to let the sea in. It's just like, oh, here it comes a... That's fucking French tumble home design shit. You know? Oh, I have to extend the range by two clicks. You guys are right. You guys are right. Yeah, up the range. But I mean, look at that, look at that tumble home stuff. It'd just come right up and then they'd be like, da dun da dun dun da 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 I mean, it would be fucking awful. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not going to use that one. Don't worry. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot to put unlock on. All right, there we go. Uh, we're going to use this one. Yeah, we're going to use this one. Uh, I like tribes, but I like watching people play tribes because I just don't have them skills. Uh, I, I ain't got them tribe skills. I am not a, I not, I not good at that. Me bad. Am scare. Harvey armor. Anti-Torp, double, 
reinforced bulkheads. We're just going to go full for broke. And, uh, yeah. All right, now time to put some guns on it. Fight the Dutch for spice and you can channel your inner Harkonnen. Well, that's true. I can I can actually go out there and start yelling at them uh, about the uh, whale fur market or whatever Chome was into that week. Oh, man, I can't use the big dick guns. I got to use the babby dick guns. That's bullshit. Oh, yeah, I got that freeboard deck. Sweep officers off. Nice. All right, so I, I see we're limited here. Where funnels? Great question, guys. You're helping me stay on theme. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, there we go. Secondary tower. We need a tall boy in the back. And we're almost in business. God. Oh, it goes fine as streams go. It looks like I can't have a giant gun in the front. It's it's not liking it. I might have to go smaller? I hate that. But what if... Yes. Oh, no. This design is terrible. I hate it. Scrap the hull. What else we got? Battleship 4? Oh, God. Is this the best we got? Uh, no, it can't be. Eh, that's worse. What else we got? God damn it. Oh. Put funnels on the guns. This is gonna have to be it. I hate it so much. God. Fuck. Uh, all right. Thanks, Chris Burnface. It's nice to hear nice compliments now and then. It's like when people send me weird compliments about my voice that are obviously of a sensual nature. I just go, thank you, but it's weird. And I gotta be careful about that, because sometimes I just open up and say things I'm thinking, and then I don't realize what people will think, and then they'll be like, Tex, if you brat to dare, and then, uh... But that stream of consciousness, or consciousness, I know how to word. All right, so let me think. Well, but first you don't succeed. Dumb. Centerline guns, all right. I can put the big boys in the back. Yeah, they'll fit. That's awesome. All right, there we go. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Moving the camera around, these are crank cameras, so they make noises. If, if you hear those, that's what that is. So I have the tiny guns in the front. These are only 254 millimeter. Those aren't overwhelming. They're 12.3 click guns. Uh, the rear guns, though, are the big ones. That's great. Oh, man. And, yeah, I've thought about the idea. Um thought about the idea of you know revisiting the old text talks but I don't know I want to cover new stuff first before I do that if I run out of ideas or I get in a rut that might be a project but I feel sometimes I have to just keep pushing forward otherwise I'll get stuck it sounds kind of silly to say that but it's easy to get lost in the past not let go of stuff and then worry about not carrying something forward and then you're like, Err, and you're double guessing yourself and then you feel like an idiot. That's not fun. No one should feel like an idiot. Favorite World War II tank. I don't know. If I could like have any of them, I'd love to have like a KV-1. Uh, those are really rare nowadays. So T-34 would be cool because I know you could actually upkeep it like cheap. Uh, an ISU gun would be kind of neat. Uh, Sherman would be cool. I know how those work pretty good. Let's just make these decks like insane. You know what? Let's make the main belt like 300 mil. And the four and the aft belt 120, 
125. All right, so it's a little overweight. That's fine, that's fine. So let's make all the decks 45 mil. The conning tower, who needs officers? They're just going to get us in trouble fast anyways. Look, if you're an officer in this, it is your glory to serve. And you don't need all that much armor, right? You are wearing the shield of the nation, which is patriotism. Patriotism. That will carry the day. I don't know, Robert. I really don't know on that one. I mean, again, this is, if I had to focus all my, all my energy on something, like one, one, one thing in terms of creation, I don't think I'd enjoy it. I need variety in life. I need some, some freedom to kind of just be me. So I know that, that again, sounds very blasé. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to dismiss your want, of course. I look at Subbrief. They used to be Jive Turkey. How's it going, man? Come here to hear me ramble about Navy stuff and these terrible ancient battleships. We've come up with a fantastic wargaming scenario. Basically, it's robot jocks. All the nations every eight years gather, and they fight each other on the seas with their mighty warships for an exchange of land rather than war. It's kind of dumb, but it's kind of been fun so far. <laughs> Am I winning, Tex? I don't know. But yeah, if you guys want to learn shit about submarines, go check out Subbrief. The guy knows everything. He was in the Navy on submarines. He knows a lot about shit. A lot. Go check his shit out. He, he just will actually talk in detail about subs, what makes them work, what it's like to be a sub crew man. Yeah, it's basically just robot jocks. I mean, uh, nothing new under the sun. I just like the idea of a gilded age of naval combat where nations fight wars with these strict international rules and they just have this contest of seeing who can come up with the best shit. All right, so far, I have no idea what kind of guns this guy's uh, fronting. He went with a super tumble home, but those look like long boys there. All right, here we go. We're just gonna fuck. Okay, look, I know you can only do 13 knots, but I want those engines banging so fucking hard, I want the engineer's fillings to come out. All right, we're gonna present to left, also known as port. If you're on a boat, you say port. So it looks like we got an enemy about three, no, two bells to, no. It looks like about two bells to starboard there. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck they're doing, uh, because this is a formation called I'm doubling back for reasons and the rudder's stuck. I don't know. Look, if things catch on fire, I don't care. My boys know what they're going into. They are about to be sacrificed in the name of whatever I can think of. Don't worry about it. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Oh, we're bracketing. That's nice. No. Oh, come on, Italy. Come on, Italy. We want Rome. We want Rome. That's the contest. We want Rome. That way I can provide for my empire two popes. You're getting two. And the wine. And some of the cuisine, hopefully. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna steam into formation here. We're gonna form a battle line. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this rudder all the way over. And I'm gonna force them to chase me. And then I'm gonna bring these three hundred and some odd millimeter motherfuckers into range, and then we're gonna see who shall fuck around and who shall find out. Now, I also have rudimentary ranging and fire control in this time period, also known as a guy with the binoculars who says, nope. So we're starting to get into this area era of like centralized fire control, which is really interesting because before that you would actually have gunnery conducted by turret, which 
Not so great. Um, so this guy's finding out that the tumble home hole is about as seaworthy as a bar of soap. But isn't the papacy its own sovereign territory? Well, sure, but this is a goofy, fictional 1890s thing, so we make up some rules to make it happen. All right, so he's got a bad fire. If that touches the magazine, we are going to see some fireworks. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't think the Ottomans are in because I'd I'd definitely fight them for the Bosphorus. That would be awesome. That would be like just you've got a toll booth on the ocean. <laughs> it's it's amazing. All right, we're just going to start dropping lead on them. Does the game simulate ammo detonations? Oh my god, yes it does. You'll see ammunition burn, ammunition cook off. You'll see all sorts of cool things. It's great. I can't even see how many people are watching, but I don't trust YouTube's metrics, so... Meh. Splash. Looks like he's got some problems there. Aw, oh, $69. Nice. All right, so he's he's trying to. What are they doing? Oh, they're gonna turn and present. Okay, good, fine. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take. We're going to go ahead and take our main battle line speed, and we're just gonna go, and we're gonna take it down to slow. Why are we doing that? Well, because. I am going to give my gunnery crews less wobbling and shaking from the engine, and that helps them not go crazy. So we have a battle of ideas here. I have not all big gun battleships. He has all big gun battleships. Uh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very, very interesting. All right. The Messina. Tex, that's not how speed versus gunnery works in game. No, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to be nice and slow. I want to be hanging out. I'm just going to hang out. We're just going to have a hangout on the sea. I'm going to let them come back into range. I'm not I'm not in a rush. Also, I want my last ship to actually form up. <laughs> this poor bastard. All right, there we go. This is going to be fun. Yeah, they're, they're like, what is going on? All right, now, now we're going to switch fire on this guy. So far, it looks like we're averaging about 1.5 to 1.3% hit rate, which is not bad for this era at all. At all. Fede Guerrilla, uh, Serena, Montan de Oro. All right, so here we go. We're gonna we're gonna punch this guy's dick in. We're just gonna leave him with an any. It's just gonna be like, poof. My God, his funnel game is insane. He stole our technology. He stole our technology. This man took from us our secrets. He is mocking us. All right. That's fine. That's more than fine. Begun the funnel wars have, but we have a traitor. All right, let's go ahead and advance to about uh, nine knots. They have adapted. All right, so we're going to start shooting at this. Guys, what, what? All right, so almost there. They shot on the upswing, you can tell, because it's plastered in a nice big oval. 
when they shoot on the downswing, it's usually an oval over here. What's interesting is you're basically rating gunnery of a saturation of a target within a sigma, and then you're calculating that out, and you're trying to reduce the sigma of that over time by adjusting for range, bearing of target, changes in the target's speed, heading, all that other stuff. But I have come to desire this man's funnels to be trimmed, and we are going to do it. I will grant my empire a second pope. Oh, and I know it sounds pretty clan. I, I adopted this whole thing, which is just goofy war by proxy stuff. So that's what it's all about anyways. All right, let's see what our boys can do. Let's speed up. Let's see some if we can start landing some. So far, the gunnery has just been so bleh back and forth. Just blah, blah, nothing. I mean, so far, he's not landed shit. I've not really landed much except for on the guy in the back, which is I opened him up like a fucking beer can. I mean, I plowed that guy under. Uh, that's what she said, get it? Because, uh... What will get Italy get if we lose? Uh, we would lose. Uh, I would say if you if you're on a winning streak, you lose your last acquisition, so you don't even get a chance to uh, reap the benefits of your investiture of resources. So it's like a double slap in the face. So if you seize something in your next turn and someone tries to go at you, and you lose, they take that back from you. So it's it's like a contest. You're trying to plan two or three acquisitions ahead. You know. How cool would that be? My favorite drink of all time is Pappy Van Winkle's 12-year lot B Reserve. It is a hard-to-get bourbon. Hipsters drove the price up beyond normal acquisition. But if you can find it, it is certainly a dram worth considering. But do not drink it alone, for you will be truly lost. All right, here we go. He's got a bit of a fire, as you can see. A little bit of a fire. A little bit of that fire. Last time I bought Pappy, before the hipster dark times, far before the hipster dark times, uh, it was $90 a bottle. Now you'd be lucky to find it for, even in the cheapest, uh, six, six, seven hundred... You know, so, yeah. But, oh wow, he put the fire out, kind of. Um, and it's just burning right down in there now. Kinda. Okay, let's do this. So, it looks like we're doing okay. My guys are sailing away. I'm not sure if that counts as, like, them failing. I'm just going to turn and present and keep shooting at range. Uh, see if maybe they will steam into range, and then I can uh, give them a little bit of that old uh, smack. Let's switch to AP, see if we can uh, get some plunging fire. See, there's this magical thing shells do. They, they don't just go straight, you know. They go way up, and they come way down. You know, that's, that's what ships do, or shells do. Ships bring the shells there. And so, the closer in, the more flat the fire is. The longer out, the more plunging the fire is. And so you have to try to build armor for all aspects of that, unless you think that the optimal engagement range is going to be really short. And don't think I'm trying to be snooty or, or like talk down to people who just like Jim Beam or whatever. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you can toast with your friends, whatever you can raise a glass to in good cheer and share an evening around a fire or a good achievement or 
Hell, even a chocolate cake that's left over from the break room you took home because, hey, fuck it, it's free cake, you know? Whatever you, whatever you drink, you know, I, I don't want to sneer down at it. I used to write whiskey reviews and it's just gotten so snooty. Whatever you enjoy, enjoy. All right, so here's what we got. We're, we're slapping the tits off this thing. Give me their heads text. Yes, Tom. I'm trying. Uh, their ships are most durable, and our accuracy is the most terrible. All right. We're just going to start whipping shells at these motherfuckers. I like shells. All right, so it looks like these guys are just... Ugh. All right, my, my lead ship is being weird. What are you doing? I said go right. This much. Go right that much. Just keep going right. More right. More right. We're just going to go right back at them. We're just going to go right back at them. Why not? You want to play? Let's play. Oh, another fire has broken out on the Fade Guerrilla. All right, we're just going to drop some shells on these guys. It's no big deal. I mean, they're shooting at my back ship. They're shooting at the funnels. Look at that. Look at that. The funnels. You motherfuckers. All right. I'm hoping to intersect. I know this is a really dodgy fleet maneuver here. Now, if I had my way in the world, if if I had a, uh, all the time in the world, I'd probably make a moonshine and then sell it. I'd be like, Mr. Texas, fairly good apple squeezins or Randolph P Percival Checkers apple flavored engine degreaser. Just make some scrambles to your fucking spirits and make limited runs for them and just run it as a non-for-profit. Don't even run it as a for-profit company. Just give the profits away to charity and just pay yourself a reasonable salary and, uh, you know, make some weird stuff. Get by. Just be like, hey, we made a vodka that has a lot of cinnamon so you can brush your teeth with it. And you're like, what? And we're like, I don't know. We're dumb. We're not making a lot of it. We just found some cinnamon. I haven't played the Kestrel Lancers DLC yet. I'm waiting for my BPL moderator mod team guys to, to say, hey, we got the we got all the cool mods back up and running. And on pure coolness, which has cooler power armor? That's a good question. Um, Battletech and Fallout both have pretty cool power armor. Now, if we could make some cursed beverages, I, I could think of some really funny, funny cursed beverages. Scorpion juice. That would be good. Contains no scorpions, we hope. That's what it'd say on the label. It would, it, like the day, the Best Buy day, would say like Thursday. All right, we are, we are coming up. All right, here we go. Here we go, boys. Here we go. It's gonna be stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have torpedoes. Full speed ahead, gentlemen. Full speed ahead. I'm about to introduce them to Bones Malone and the Spoopy Boys. And I'm going to rattle their bones. Who's ready for this? Oh, here we go. Dun -dun 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 I do 15 knots. I actually don't. Usually in this time or this time period when they said ships made a certain amount of knots, they meant like maybe. They didn't mean like, 
usually. So this is going to be a pretty uh, close range stupid. Um, you're never supposed to do this in ships. You are never supposed to do this. And any more Star Treks lined up? That is for um, that is for Mr. Mike. Uh, if you if you ask him, he'll tell you. I I don't know. But uh, I seem to be um, nuking the shit out of his battle fleet. This is gonna be great. Switch to HE. Very well, gentlemen. Let us switch to HE and burn them out. Oh, and I hit him with a torpedo as well. Excellent. Torpedoes for everyone. Torpedoes for everyone. You shall have torpedoes. And you shall have torpedoes. And oh, oh, see, there's a magazine hit. There's a magazine hit right there. Did you see that fucking blowtorch? My god, that was awesome. Alright, boys. Oh, yeah. My well, guys are dropping torps in the water. This is fucking metal. Oops, all torpedoes! Oh, here goes a torpid. He's about to inherit one torpedo. Oh, no. All right, that is right into the engine space. Oh, man. Oh, he's already listing. Look at that list. Stance Nation. He's having a bad day. Okay, so you're losing a lot of frames of water there. Yeah, just sit there and think about it as your generators fail, weirdo. All right, he's taking a torpedo. He's not doing well. It appears my battle division is superior. Oh, I thought about doing a Textox 40k till I saw how they were treating people and uh, people creating stuff. And I said, no. That's their choice. Not mine. I ain't gonna build something just to have it torn down by a lawyer, you know? Text on Star Trek? I don't know. That could be interesting. It appears the Navy is having a floating problem. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him there. He's having a- he's having a sank sank. Oh god, Tillman battleships? Jesus Christ. You mean steel blocks with guns? Yes, we'll use quadruple 20 inch guns with auto loaders. Ha 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 ha. We'll make giant turbo battles. It'll sight as a Rhode Island. It's like, oh my god. Look, every war has a super weapons guy. Every war has one. Just look long enough in the history books and you'll find the super weapons guy. Every war's got one. It's the guy who says, okay, I got an idea. And you just study those guys. And I don't know why they don't sell mech warrior. Poor mercenaries. I'm. I, it's probably a licensing issue. I don't know who owns everything. All right. He's losing. So what? A, what are we gonna do? Just sink the rest? I guess. Yes. Enjoy your doom. All right. He's having a lot of problems. See, the back part of the boat is full of water. So you've got the gearbox, the shafts, the uh, boilers. I mean, that's bad. And what isn't on water is on fire. So I can tell you in Deputy's wise words and assessment, the fire will be out soon. Looks like my ships are actually pretty good. I mean, they've taken a variety of damages, but they're not terrible. I pretty much crippled these guys uh, by just getting in nasty close. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a win, because otherwise this is just going to linger. All right, so let's 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 leave this battle because we win. All right, so we got to advance at two, and then we got to advance at eight. Now, who do we fight? Like, who are we going to fight? Like what are we gonna what are we gonna fight these guys with? 
we get a we get a fight. Oh, hungry for food, guys. You, we should help some. We should help somebody. Uh, you know, we should help somebody. Uh, you know, order order food. Oh, we gotta fight the French. That's right. Eh, gotta fight him over something. We come for France, and then after that, we'll go uh, clean out the krauts. Oh, that was ten years. You're right. Sorry. Whoops. I can't count. I'm dumb. All right. Yeah. So look, if let look, how about you order a pizza and you let the BPL choose? Oh wait, I forgot to unlock the thing. How about you let the BPL choose? Uh, what kind of pizza you order? Small dreadnought. Who builds that? That's dumb. Oh, USA dreadnought. Air quotes. No. Okay, that's sexy. I like that. I like that a lot. You got some long, lean lines, lady. Oh, look at that fucking prowl. Got a prowl like Christina Hendricks. I like that thing. That's a good fucking dreadnought. That's a nice, clean-looking dreadnought, man. Oh. Wow. What a nice... Oh, man. What a good-looking ship. Think of all the funnels I can put on this. It has a funnel holder. It is a sign from above. All right, so with my, with my, yeah, I mean, imagine the funnels. We, so many funnels, so much room for funnels. All right, let's see. I want to make some smoke because we got to smoke. Ooh, wide. Yeah. Boom. All right. Doom. Oh, yeah. Three. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. All right. What if, what if I moved him a little bit over here? Could I get another funnel in there? Could I get another? God damn it. All right. So I'm denied funnels again. All right, so let's see. Tordabos, of course. By the way, if you ever see old battleships or whatever, and you see their nameplate on the back, back here, and then you see a little round thing, uh, the tide is low, and that's a torpedo tube. Just saying. And yeah, I've walked under a dry dock ship before. That is fucking wild. Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna continue slow. We will never go fast. I swear this before you. We will never be in a hurry. This Navy is never running from anything. It is also not running toward anything. It is not capable of it. It is, it is, it is, it is a jaunting Navy. Look, I've got a lot of funnels. Could I get more? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Those are, those are different. They're not better. I, you know what? I'll, I'll make it work. I'll make it work. All right, so we need main guns. No more bullshit. Centerline guns, yes. Give me the calibers. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, and then we'll put that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll put, uh, ooh, yeah, the British-style guns, the 203 mils. Yeah, we'll put those there and there. Fuck yeah. All right, so this thing's looking sexy. All right, now, now... We are going to make it run on the coal. We're going to use that. Turbines. We got turbines because this is post uh, Turbinia. And uh, this is definitely the Dreadnought Age. We're going to up armor the fuck out of this bitch. And we are going to put in all the reinforcements, citadels, and stuff. Of course, armor by Krupp because they put chromium in things and they're good at steel. Uh, Dunite because. Yeah. Sorry, um, bigger torpedoes, better this, better that. All right, now time to upgrade this shit. Uh, the Van Zant class battleship, it, it would probably be a super dreadnought, and it would probably have a lot of guns on it. I'm not sure they would all be the same caliber. All right, so we're going to make the belt big, because big belt is good belt, and then we're going to put the F belt there and the four belt. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we're going to do that. Deck armor. Well, everyone needs the same. Obviously, you can't un 
unarmor the decks. All right, let's see what else can we get. Okay, we're within protocols. Let's give these officers a slightly bigger hat. Because last time around they didn't all die. Which means I will reward them with corn dogs. All right, let's see. 400, is that enough? Ooh, 425. Oh, 420? It's right on it. How is it under? Oh, no. All right, well, that's going to be 9 millimeter. 9, nine, nine point. It's right on the money. That's right on the money. No, it's not. It's not. Ah, God damn it. All right. 9.5. Ah, good enough. All right. Bull puppet ship, you say? All right. I'll bull puppet ship. I'll bull puppet the next one. Oh, God. All right. We're already into it. Jesus. All right, let's determine their actual heading. All right, so here we go. Oh, I forgot to push out 2,000 range. Oh, well. Here we go. Oh, those are cool looking. Those are actually pretty cool looking, except for why do they have these slightly small turrets here? I mean, if they were all the same size gun, that would actually be kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool looking ship. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can slap them down with some of this long range iron. Let's see if we can penetrate that hide. Let's, let's bring down the spear and just, just stab them. R. Ooh. We knocked one right in them. That's an extra mount of grog for the boys. Oh no, they're shooting back. With bullets. Unfortunately, my armor appears to be adequate. Ah, it appears your shells are made of paper. They will do nothing. You shall not stop my smoke. <laughs> the smoke will win. I now shoot back at you. Let us see how my gunnery wins. All right. Oh, we got some more on the way. We got latecomers throwing rounds out. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, that's good. Even the 8-inch guns are throwing some out there. They're like, count me in, coach. And how do I know 203 millimeters is 8 inch? Well, it's not because of something personal. It's actually because I've studied field artillery for a long time. Um, so yeah, there's that. I think it's fascinating. So we are, uh, oh, they say it's a warship. Boys, boys, they say it's a warship. We have detected a warship. It is a warship. Now let's try to classify this warship just from its look. We have determined it is a warship, gentlemen. Hmm. Clearly it's a destroyer. Excellent work. Excellent work. All right, destroyer. Here we go. Oh no, it's a battleship, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe. All right, we're throwing shells at it. Oh, let's throw some steel at him. Let's throw some steel at him. Oh, shells? 
Yes, a few shells. Oh, oh, oh. What delineates a destroyer from a cruiser or battleship? All right, boys and girls, let me tell you a story about naval history. Let me, let me tell you a story. Most of the definitions are completely made up. Um, that is the fact of naval, uh, naval stuff. Basically, it's a self-applied title. So if you look at the age of sail, you find ratings of ships. So you'll say this is a first-rate ship of the line, second-rate ship of the line, third-rate ship of the line, and it's based on its size, how many batteries it has, how many guns it has, what the weight of the guns are, all of those other things, its intended role and purpose, and they all have their own designed role. So then you have, in the modern era, you have a destroyer. Well, the destroyer is called that because it's a torpedo boat destroyer. So by its basis, it has to be fast, has to have good guns, and it's designed to chase down torpedo boats. So it has to be probably bigger than them in case they turn and fight. You look at a frigate, well, that's an old naval term. Corvettes, old naval term, basically the same size ship doing the same size work. Um... You look at the battleship, that kind of comes out of your heavier ironclads, your, uh, the French uh, certainly building uh, some of the first really decent ones, and then the British with the HMS Warrior and the Black Prince. Um, you don't really see a stronger classification for warships until the Washington Naval Conference, where they say a battleship is defined by, and then... Here's the maximum tonnages of them. So you see kind of a split up into role and tonnage and allotment and the role they have to fill and they're designed very specifically for that. So that kind of cements them. And then in the Cold War, we did a lot of weird stuff uh, like the USS Long Beach, which I don't want to talk about. That thing was not good. Um, so let's start shooting at this guy and kill him with bulleters of bullet gun. I wish to be uh, more shoot shoot. It appears these gentlemen do not wish to play well, so I intend to uh, cross the T uh, as fastest I can. It's okay to read fan fiction and non in nonfiction and whatever else you like. I mean, um, I I enjoy both. Uh, I mean, I. I just read. You should... You should read. I mean, just read. Who cares what you read? If you like trashy romance novels, then read trashy romance novels if, if it brings you some measure of peace. Have fun. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot this motherfucker. Ah, it's the battleship St. Louis. Well, St. Louis, it's weird they named a battleship after a city, but they did. So it's time to sink you, because I think your barbecue is at best okay. I said it there. Hey, if someone wants to uh, novelize the adventures of Scrombles and the playthrough we did on the Courtesy Flush as a fanfic, you go nuts. You go absolutely nuts. You go absolutely nuts. Have fun. I will not step in your way. I think the IJN had some interesting ideas, and then they were proven wrong with a Navy that just said, hey, what if I blow your ships up with airplanes? And they were like, oh man, you can't do that. That's cheating. You broke our codes? Man, that sucks. Oh man, you took a bunch of Clemsons and turned them into APD raiders and then set them loose on Tulagi to cause chaos? That's not cool. Well, you know what I'm going to do about it? I'm going to keep my big ships in the back, and I'm going to build submarine aircraft carriers about it. Yeah, what are you going to do then? Oh, yeah, just win any... Uh, shit. <laughs> the Japanese plan uh, was really interesting because it's... It, it, you know, like, we bottle them up at Rabaul, and 
then we just leave and Rabal's trapped and there's 110,000 guys on Rabal. That's then and some of them were elite troops, elite fighters. They could have definitely used that later in the war. It's a very bad uh, commitment or overcommitment, I would say, to a strategic forward position base for whatever reason. So, so far I've noticed in the game, and a few fans have pointed this out, the uh, ships, the earlier ships, are very well done. The later ships, not so well done. If I had a daily battle mech, I don't know. It's something I could probably take and go get groceries with, you know? Something fairly quick. All right, so my my boys, my boys are, uh, are rolling up. See, Mars, that's a fucking great name for a battleship. Queen Elizabeth, long may she reign. Kind of weird to name it. After Queen Elizabeth, at this point in history, but, you know, um, yeah, Eagle, good, solid name. Uh, and then you've got Renown, good, solid name. Great names for battleships. All right, so St. Louis has been clobbered a bit. I'm going to switch to uh, HE at this range, and I'm going to set rudders straight, and we are just going to go in at about 11 knots, maybe 10 now, I'm taking some damage. Yeah, I, I'm hoping it's named after Lizzie No. 1. I'm hoping. I'm just I'm just hoping. But it's it's weird in the 18... Or, well, I mean 19... Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I, I, I blanked on that. The queen... The other one... Look, I, I'm bringing out the extra smoke... We've got the good smoke, the good huff. Ooh. Klong, plang. All right, fuck it. Let's go back to AP. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, gentlemen. All right. All right, so he's sailing in, I'm sailing in. I got more funnels, you motherfucker. Oh, penetration. Ooh. Yeah, base boosted God Save the Queen intensified. Oh, that would be good. Let's watch this thing. Let's watch this thing go smash. Oh, look at that. That's some bad hits. That's some bad hits. I was playing this in the BPL, streaming it to people, and everyone fell silent because one thing I learned, people love watching big steel things just explode. People love watching like the deep penetration just go right into the belly of that thing and blow it to pieces. I should have phrased that better, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's such a satisfying sound and feeling, isn't it? Look at that, look at that thing. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm bad at phrasing, but I'm passionate about my battleships. We're on the sea. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because you got to penetrate right into the deep of it, right in the guts. You got to get into the citadel. You got to get into the engine room. You got to get into the ammunition magazines. You have to get to the command and control. You have to get to the walkways and catwalks for damage control. You have to get to all the steam line trunks. You got to break and bust all those things up. And when you do, they take down the systems around them, and it just causes cascading failures. So you knock the turbo generators out, and then you've got essentially the power failing, and then the pumps fail. 
and then you slowly watch it lose its buoyancy and sink and so you you watch all of these things happen but you gotta get past the armor you gotta crack that citadel you gotta knock engines out knock power out knock fuses out make bulkheads fail you have to bend steel and break bodies it's catastrophic oh look at that oh that's bad how close are we we are very alarmingly close. Oh, he's turning right in. Do I freestyle all this verbiage? Yeah. I just kind of ramble it off. I'm passionate about my battleships. Mike knows this. All right, boys. We're going to get some deflection here. He's turned right in on us. Oh, he's going to try to ram, but with multiple engines out. Because if you look at the trunk lines, uh, the lines for all the uh, steam and smoke and all that other fun stuff, the air that goes down in the engine, the smoke that comes out, all, all this stuff is generally usually located right under the engine. So there's a square here where your engines are and then back from that you have your turbines you have your uh your gearbox and your rudder and steering and then your props and all of this stuff if you get it wet doesn't work really well because it turns out that like boilers like water on the inside not the outside and then you have problems so with multiple engines out, including the uh, auxiliaries, you would find massive power failure and he wouldn't be able to counter pump. He wouldn't be able to do anything. And slowly as power fails, you find these guys trapped in these rooms because the uh, bulkheads, uh, hydraulics or whatever have engaged and well, enjoy. I know there's fish. I don't care. I'm shooting some fish too. We're trading fish. Uh, the charity is the uh, Battleship New Jersey, which successfully keeps Atlantic City in New Jersey. So I think it's worth of, uh, you know, worth a, worth a mention. All right, Renown's taking a hit. I don't care because I'm about to send a torp right back at him. Uh, these are going to be mostly riveted uh, at this point in time. You start looking at people playing with electric welding in the 20s and 30s, and they're really nervous about it. In fact, the uh, I want to say the Mogami class, the Japanese uh, heavy cruisers, had a really horrendous cracking problem. They didn't discover until they put them at sea, and they had to like cover it up because that it caused a huge morale issue. Um, and they had to refit everything. So a, a lot of people were very, very nervous about new shipbuilding techniques, especially over long periods of time. So it looks like we've got the flooding confined to three frames there. The Corbett, or Corbet, or Kerbet, whatever you want. Hi, I have a question. Do I like hugs? Depends. I'm autistic. Sometimes I don't like being touched, especially by strangers. That I find to be difficult. I think that's reasonable. Alright, so now we're going to shoot this guy. Verite. Which I believe is truth. Like Veritas. Yeah, my guy is going to fall out of formation. Don't worry. I'm going to detach him from the division, and I'm going to have him leave. I'm going to have him leave at best possible speed while the rest of the division continues forward. Here we go. Uh, no time frame on the Warhammer video, buddy. Uh, I've mentioned it on the podcast quite a bit, and, uh, I've mentioned it a few times as well on the Patreon. It'll be done when it's done. This one's gonna be a cut above, and I can't fuck it up. It has to be done correctly.
You gotta love it, but it's it's the Warhammer. And the things I have to say about the Warhammer are very important. It kind of explains a lot of... Th oh, look at that! Look at that! Did you see that? We were happily in frame when it happened. Oh my god, did you see that? Look at that. Wow. What a fucking hit to the magazine. Jesus. That was beautiful. Okay, the Renown is having some problems pulling away because it's being shot the fuck at, but he's he's not a bitch, so he's he's just continuing to fight that good fight. Intense perfectionism is usually a sign of being neuroatypical, but I do force myself typically to pencils down at some point. Um, I just force myself to do it. Yeah, I see he's firing a torpedo. It's gonna suck. All right, you know what? We're gonna have to slow this ship down, and then we are going to have to apply full reverse engines. Flank full reverse. It's gonna damage the engines, I know, to throw them in full reverse so quickly, but I want that thing to not sink. Wow, he turned around pretty quick, actually. Renau might not make it. That is rough. However, I will say this. He ain't making it away either. His earlier boom boom was uh, kind of a problem. Now, the question about putting pencils down at a project is you just set a timeline for it in your head, and you say, at this phase, I will move on from here, or I will not. And you have to be happy with it, and that's where you have to trust other people to review your work so you know when to stop, right? You have to know when to stop. So that's where you have your friends review your work. Peer review helps with that. You're like, I don't know if this is ready. If they look at it and go, it's ready, then it's probably ready. If you doubt them, find someone else. And if two people say it's ready, then yeah. If the person says it's not ready because it needs a little magic or something, hey, another perspective gain. Keep going. I mean, I do like 10 to 12 drafts. It's why they take me months. I mean, I'm writing essentially a master's thesis every time I do this, and this is supposed to take a year, but um, I found that, that that's if you do college for a living, and I've never been that lucky. Listen, Pistolero, it's not hard to make friends. You can join a Discord group on a shared common thing you like, you know. There's Battletech Discords and all sorts of things in Discords, and just meet some interesting people. Leave yourself open to meeting interesting people. People who may be different than you, have different views of the world than you, but share the same things you love. And if you take time to listen, not just wait to speak, but actually listen, you'll learn stuff. It's really good. And hello, Eldonius. Yes, we're winning. We need more funnels. I need more smoke. Eldonius, I love ships of this period and I can't help myself. Can you help me make a thumbnail of a ship with lots of funnels, please? I would like this. I will pay you money. Cash dollars. I love the steamship pictures and the early dreadnought pictures of this era, but I want a ship with so many funnels and sparks and flame and laughing s Grim Reaper in the smoke. Yes, that's what I want. 
Not completely of funnels. My god, man, there has to be room for cannons and a brandy deck. And a solarium. And probably a cocktail lounge. What do you think about a swing club? Be careful, fat boy. Don't say that I'm great. I'm just an okay guy. Above average, maybe. But that's it. Nothing more. Just another voice in the choir, really. I mean, most of the emails I respond to, it takes a while, but I do. And they're they're fun. Um, the only ones I don't know how to respond to are just, like, people trying to kiss my ass. That's weird. I I know that sounds, I guess, strange, but I started this whole thing as just, like, therapy, you know? And now people are actually wanting to watch my stuff and talk to me and things and I'm I'm you know at first I was like fuck no fallout shelter close the door but I, I'm embracing it so long as you know it's on my terms so it's it's been difficult for me um because my mind goes to places where I assume there are bad actors you know I receive a lot of uh, emails about Batchels Leon oh Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Oh, look at that fire internally. That's bad. Oh, that's such a beautiful hit. That's why people like watching this thing. What a beautiful fucking shot. And yeah, John, you go right ahead, man. You go right ahead. Oh, it's picric acid. Yeah, that, that shit is uh, horrifying. But it can be neutralized. Uh, and they learned how to... They learned how to make it really stable. The real big advancement, other than accurate range finding in this time period, uh, from centralized fire control, which makes things way more consistent. The other thing that's really nice is um, really good fuses start to show up that actually routinely do penetrate when they should and go off when they should and arm when they should. And uh, especially after World War One, you see those get better and better and better. Yeah, Eldonius Rex uh, is telling me we're, we raised a hell of a lot of money for charity. Uh, and the um, Irby, or sorry, the Knife Fight City shirt is being done. Uh, and it's, it's going to look awesome. It's going to actually make us a lot of money for charity. And you, you guys made that happen. It's fucking great. And those of you out here, there who are going to wear them, you know, people are going to say, what the fuck is that? And you're like, oh, man, it's my favorite cinematic universe, man. Hey, Blue Space. Yeah, I'm thinking of going and checking out Colonial Marines' new funness over the weekend. I've heard really good things about their new role-playing standards where, like, the grunts are, uh you know, the, the unga dungas and they can goof off, but the officers have a higher grade of role play or whatever. And I've heard really great things about it. So I'm going to go check that out this weekend. Yeah. See, Mike's right there. Mike will take over chat while I go take a brief bathroom break and maybe get some water. I'm just going to watch this ship explode. You guys watch this and, uh, yeah. Oh, Hey, 200 bucks. Nice. Hope the battleship crew lets us shoot something.
probably thousands of people have left in the meantime. All right. I don't even know how many people are fucking watching. Oh, man. Welcome to year two of lockdown. Flatten the curve. Here we go. Um, <laughs> oof. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to shoot some people in their feelings. Oh, yeah. All right. Looks like we're winning this one. I wonder how many, um... Let's, let's, oh, I'm vastly overestimating my popularity. You're right. You're right. That's fair. Most people just like watching the explosions, which is fair, which is fair. Mike leaned in and, uh, he said, uh, hey, like your vids. And yeah, if the, uh, it, since the Knife Fight City shirts did well, Eldonius and I are thinking about making this a regular thing. Um, and we'll just turn weird Legion memes into t-shirts, and you can just own a absurd piece of our weird culture, and, uh, you know. I mean, shit, it's for a good cause, and it's a great way to raise money for charity, and I, I like it. So I'm, I'm glad we get the opportunity to do this, and I think it's hilarious that we've memed this into being. How light would we have to make the USS Wisconsin to need to float her up the Mississippi? I have no idea. No idea, man. Uh, the Mississippi is a treacherous river. That's for certain. So I haven't lost a battleship yet. The Renown is moving slow. It's, uh... She's doing her best. Not very fast, but... She's doing it. She's continuing to fight, too. All right. Uh, I'm not going to make any sort of shirt with anything Battletech branded anything on it um, at all. I'm I'm not I'm not going to tickle the dragon on that, guys. That sounds like a really good way to end all this on a very bad note. Um, that that would that would be very very dangerous. We talked about Van Zant militia shirts. Um, We'd, we'd thought about uh, doing all sorts of different things with that. We'd thought about uh, creating a, like a Van Zant Militia pack uh, with like a printout of all the various commands and all their weird logos uh, because it's a lot of irregular forces. Um, we'd thought about, yeah, the BPL podcast bingo shirt would be pretty funny. Um, we've, we've thought... We've thought about doing good stuff. Um, just just weird little things like a visit Van Zant, like Van Zant tourism um, tourism board T-shirt or something that just says "Welcome to beautiful Van Zant," but it's just awful. Like it has an eagle carrying a dog. That or you know some sort of weird whiskey uh, from Van Zant. I mean, just something something fun and different. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just a meme with a really good image and something that you can tell your friends about and be like, oh, I support this weird thing and we do good causes for charity and occasionally something wholesome happens and we all just kind of laugh. Tank Nights is probably going to happen, though. Tank Nights is up there. And I can't do anything with Duncan Fisher either, because, again, I don't own that. I, I cannot make good on something I do not own. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that guy wanted to bully my last ship over here, which is certainly not bait, and uh, which is, God, what a good ship. Here we go. Ah, yes. 
It appears he is feeling my displeasure. Excellent. We will now switch to armor. Mackie the Comstar Clown? I don't know. That would be pretty fucking crazy. Just a clown putting someone in a sleeper hold that says, You saw nothing. <laughs> you know? But that's a Space Station 13 thing, really. Um, if I had all the umpteen bajillion dollars in the world, I'd make like, I'd make like Van Zant AKs or something. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd run an AK forge. I think that'd be fun. All right, so this guy's sinking, and it looks like I win. Except for his last little ship over there that's... Oh, my God. <coughs> well, if you want an AK, but you live in Maryland, why don't you get the Galil Ace, especially in the 308? That's not under their law. Mr. Kanch knows all about the Maryland guns. All about them. But if I had more brains than sense, I would probably have four or five saves full of rare guns. Really. Really, 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 really have some rare guns. So it's probably smart that I don't have much money. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I, I will see something and be like, oh, I gotta have that. Oh, gotta have that. And it just becomes part of my, part of my existence. Ah, 4 nil. Well, play again? No, we must advance this eight years. Then one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. So 1914, and we're gonna go fight the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire because we want the right to the word goulash. How's that? All right, you know what? Yeah, let's let's say this is the year they advance it to eight warships each. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Oh, this was one of my what if designs, I think. Oh yeah, the Coke Town. <laughs> uh, umpa. I I I just wrote random names. All right, let's do. Here we go. Dreadnought 1, 2, and 3. Well, pff, I know what I'm going to build. I'm going to build 3. Scrambles Punch. Scrambles Punch would be actually a really good shirt. Scrambles Punch. No speed, all gun. No speed, all gun. Dreadnoughts all the way. Dreadnoughts forever. But yeah, no, I... Let's see. D -d 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 -d. Go make pipes. Cool, man. Yeah, we're going double bottoms and everything else. This thing will drive right up the Dardanelles. <laughs> no, it won't. Um, All right, what was it? Bullpup? Bullpup. That was that was the call to action. So let's bullpup this motherfucker. Let's do that. Let's put that there. Compact tower. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh no. We're gonna go big tower. We're gonna we're gonna bullpup it. We're gonna bullpup a battleship. Because eh Oh, and we'll we'll put a smokestack on the rear. An extra smoker, you know? Here we go. Now I need the front guns. Torpedo launchers, underwater tubes, boom, boom. Of course, torpedoes, because sure. Uh, and then I need the biggest gun. Centerline, 356, three, three barrels. All right, so what if... All right, then I'm going to do this, and I... Okay, I'm going to do some curse shit. All right, as long as I don't fuck this up.
All right, so watch this. Oh, I can't, oh yeah. All right, so I can move one to slightly further rear and I'll move you slightly further forward. Is that counting as a weight offset? Why? I mean, yeah, I see it. Not allowed to have any fun no more. Actually, wait, Barbats. That's right. I think I just thought of something even dumber. Oh, wait, I can't put Barbats anywhere I want. That's, that's wrong. I should be able to... Mm. That's angering me. God damn it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'll make it work. Actually, that's way too big. Oh, that's what she said. All right, let's get in here. All right, so 356 millimeter guns are great. What is going on? Why can not place? All right, it's fine. Uh, tall superimposed barbette. Let's try that. Actually, let's do enlarged. Oh, that's way too big. All right, so we're going to get in here and we're going to do that. We're going to do this. We're going to boom. Yeah. Is the barbette too big? Fine. Who cares? So I can upgrade them later. All right, so now we're going to do side guns, and we're going to put these on here. And I'm going to put two side guns, like, right here. Check that out. 16-inch guns all forward. Ah, oh, that is that is dumb. That's dumb, and you love it. All right. I just need some okayish side guns here for a minute. There we go. Maybe some chase guns, in case someone decides that's a smart move. There, done. All right, so, cool. Hopefully Albania will see this and realize I'm a man of genius. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I wonder what they'll think, if anything. All right, TNT? Yeah, TNT's great. I love it. TNT's fine. So the Scrambles class is an interesting ship. I, I don't know why it was designed, but I know that it must kill. And that's why it's taking the big the big dick ammo. All right, here we go. Here we go. I don't care it needs that many people to float it. I'm employing lots of people. Thank you very much. All right, F, da, da. All right, F belt. Let's, let's make that bigger. -er. There we go. 40 millimeter, 50 millimeter superstructure. Okay, 45. 45 is right under. Okay. So it's got awesome. It's got an awesome fucking. Oh, this is great. This is great. All right, let's do this. All right, so, uh, yeah. Here we go. Mm hmm. Dum 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 dum. The Scrambles class. As we fight the Austro Hungarian Empire. All right, formation. At them. Load AP. Slow range half. Oh, God, they got some really jet. Oh, I kind of dig that. First, I thought it was like a Japanese-style hole, but look! That's kind of cool. Right in front of the conning tower, there's a gun. Oh, that's kind of nice. This is going to be fucking stupid. See, this is why I don't have a girlfriend. I will do this until 4 in the morning. <laughs> and then I will be like, Hey, check it out. I made it the Superland Battleship. And they're like, oh my god, you are insane. Yeah, enemy command staff. Wop. Mop. Oh, this is gonna be good. I need to wait till my line forms up. I'm going to actually form line abreast. Here we go.
Yeah, these ships actually look really clean. I, I dig them. I like the uh, double and triple mounts of lighter guns. I like the casemate guns. And I like this kind of layout with the minimalistic... Uh... Everything else. I mean, it's a really clean look. It's long and lean. I really... I really dig it. All right, we already got some fire on one of my boys. Scromble's punch. No, they're shooting at the lead ship, boys. Oh, look at this shells incoming. Look at that. Scromble's punch has only taken fire because the deck is stronger than anvils. Yeah, now we shoot back. And it's scattered and really, really inaccurate. Guys, remember when I put all that fire control in there, you fucking dinguses? That is a clean looking ship. Eldonius, look at this thing. That's a clean looking boat. I mean, I really like the look of it. I just love the hull design. I mean, I could do with or without the casemates. Like, if this center line was just a flush, straight, raised deck going all the way through, instead of these little meh meh meh, that would be really nice. It'd also save weight and it would make it less top heavy potentially. These have got to be 14-inch guns, at least. I mean, if they're not, oof. feel bad for him. But yeah, sometimes I run my mouth and just say really dumb shit. I'm sorry for that. So, if, if I make, like, weird personal statements or jokes, it's me trying to make fun of my own stuff and awkwardness. So, if it gets strange, don't worry about it. The Japanese had some really clean looking ships too. Hey, thanks, Eldonius. Eldonius, I came up with a sister product for Tank Knights. It's set in the 1890s to the 1920s, and it's an era in which the nations of the world form a League of Nations and then fight out all their differences for territory with warships. And uh, it's like the Olympics. It's dumb, but. It could be fun. Alright, come on, give us something. Give us some of that plunging fire. Plunging fire, plunging necklines. Plunging's good. Plungers, necessary. Good stuff. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Come on, swing some of that. Come on. I know you guys can do it. I believe in you. All right, they are shooting back at the Hannibal, which is now on its own as the rest of the battle line is attempting to conga. Not Congo, but conga. Hannibal's a strong ass name for a fucking ship, so awesome. Yeah, that's a good division formation. All right, we got to keep shooting. Oh no. Okay, so gun horse is loose again. That's great. Uh, Tom was too loud. Tom and Stryker almost died. Shy guy exploded and we lost all. G That's terrible, man. That's fucking terrible. You know, gun horse claims so many lives a year and much goob. People need to be careful for gun horse. All right, so here's what we got. We're fucking firing. All right, so let's see. What do you got? I mean, that's not even a good hit. I mean, it looks like the casemate gun's out of action. 
Come on, give me a good slap. Give me a good slap. Give me a slap. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Come on. I mean, they're getting scattering of fire on me. It's just starting fires. Nothing really major. It's annoying. I don't want to build a fucking protected cruiser. That's boring. I want big. I want stupid. I'm attracted to powerful things. I want battleships. All battleships all the time. I know I need to maneuver a little bit, but I'm I'm trying to trying to do a little better. My battle formation, as you see, is having some problems with rudder. But remember the Watt. I, I might make another stupid fast battleship again. Those those are great. It's like 47 knots. And skims the water, drops 800 torpedoes, and has 20-inch guns. Yeah, that looks like a marina. Oh, man, look at all those shells. You could fucking walk on that. However, so far, not doing a lot of damage to me. All right, let's speed up time, and hopefully my ships unfuck themselves. I've issued my orders. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, we're getting some minor penetration on the Hannibal. Looks like a lot of my ships are not shooting at all. Looks like their battle line is curious. They got some guys in reserve, and they got some guys up here doing something. All right, so that's kind of interesting. But yeah, someone asked something about batchels earlier. Uh, we, we, I do occasionally get emails where they challenge me to a batchel, like they challenge me to a game. I fought a few of them. Uh, someone challenged me to a game of Battletech. I beat them on that. Um, someone challenged me to a game to Mega Mech. I lost on that. On the rematch, I beat them, and then I lost again. Um, I, I don't remember what we were fighting for. It was it was something just silly, like I had to record a line of something. But you know, all in all in good fun. Um, I had someone threaten to batch on me for my pants, and so I said no. And he says, "Well, choose whatever weapon you want." And so I just sent a picture of the MP5, and he's like, "No, no, we're good." And I was like, "Yeah, that's right. I choose machine and gewehr." Um. But, you know, that's all in good humor and just shit posting. I had a few people inquire as to uh, my relationship status as a bachelor, and that was weird. Um, probably not the way to go about that. Just saying. I mean, A for effort, but the follow through is strange, so I, I probably wouldn't. That's kind of weird. But, I mean, you know, you do you. Can't criticize somebody for having an open heart, you know? Let's switch to HE and see if any magic happens. Ah, uh, yeah, I might need to loosen the formation. You're right. Let's let's go ahead and do loose. Alright, Hannibal's just going forward. Hannibal don't give a fuck. All right, so let's do this. Baby Ladislaus. My name is Ladislaus. I invent a uh, goulash. No, I mean, I get your point, Chris. I mean, if a woman was trying to customize hitting on you, that's not an unreasonable choice. I mean, sure. 
I mean, I don't know. Relationships are weird anymore. It's, uh... I guess the millennial approach to relationships is way different from Gen X, Gen Y, you know, boomer shit, so... It's a weird world we live in. And I'm not trying to say they're wrong, it's just... odd. You know, I'm doing that moment of like, I, I need a minute. Like, give me a minute, that's weird. Because when someone does something weird, I just go, I, I need a minute. And then I have to process it, and I'm like, hey, am I crazy? And other people are like, eh, sometimes. I mean, I, I did just try to buy Albania's Air Force. Just, you know, for personal reasons. Who doesn't want a jet? Alright, so I'm starting to land shots. The Hannibal? I mean, this thing is taking hits, but... I mean, this Chad battleship doesn't seem to fucking mind. It's just, no, who cares? And yeah, the answer is no if you don't ask. That's fair. I mean, I'm not trying to ding people for being brave and saying what they want. That's okay. I mean, you gotta say that shit. Otherwise, you got regrets. But, you know, s some people take rejection kind of strong. And so that's that's another thing. It's, it's one of those things where I try to let people know that if you watch me through a screen, you don't really know me. And it's, it's kind of weird to have an idealized version of a YouTuber. I'm just a guy. I'm no Cyrano de Bergerac. Where would I park a MiG? That's my business. I mean, eh, I don't know. I'll find a place. If you give me a MiG, I'll find out. Time to switch to AP? You boys think so? Alright, let's, let's do it. The Hannibal is taking a hell of a lot of damage, but this thing is tough as shit. Alright, come on. Give me some of them hits. Yeah, this is my therapy MiG. You can therapy anything. You're like, this is my therapy Thompson. I would love to have a Thompson. I was shopping for a Thompson, and all the good ones just disappeared. And now that I see good ones show up again, I've already put money into another machine gun. So it's like, fuck! Um, but, but you know, that's how it goes. So you just kind of shrug and just laugh at it. I mean, I'm glad to have a machine gun. I'm not, like, wistful or anything, but, uh, you know, you could have a therapy machine gun. You could have a therapy dog. You could have a therapy, like, uh, snoo snoo girlfriend or whatever that, like, picks you up and takes you away from danger. You could have uh, therapy whiskey. That's called alcoholism. But <laughs> um, it's it's one of those things where you just you have your little happy thing. Whatever your happy thing is, just embrace the shit out of it and have fun. As long as it doesn't hurt other people, you know, just have your therapy thing and enjoy the shit out of it. And if my voice is partly your therapy, just make sure you also have, like, good support structures outside of that. You, sh you shouldn't be dependent on a stranger, right? I'm just saying that, just from a practical standpoint. I'm, I'm not trying to tell you your business, sir, but I, I, would, I would prefer to see someone have a, a very good and broad support structure. So that in the event something fails, you can reach out to multiple angles and have that there for you. Oh, Ladislaus, you're about to have some boop! Look at this, look at this, look at this. Fuck you, now you're one. All right, so here we go. Ah, yes. I still have battleships because I made mine out of steel. Hannibal's slowly trying to retire, but he don't give a fuck and his guns work. And you're right, Churchill could not have been an alcoholic. No alcoholic can drink that much. Okay, so they made a mistake. And now I'm going to fuck all of them. And then I'm going to assassinate Franz Ferdinand over here. <laughs> uh, in 1914, I'm going to assassinate Franz Ferdinand. You heard it here first, folks. Let's start a civil war. In Europe, for some reason. Did someone say boob? Yeah, I guess boob could be therapy, too. I like, I like boob. 
I think one of the hottest women on the planet is uh, Christina Hendricks. And if you don't know why, you can go look that up. She's actually a really good actress and quite talented. She plays the accordion. I liked her in Mad Men. She was pretty good. She was pretty damn good, actually. She kind of played the uh, power boss secretary thing well. Kind of became an archetype, in a sense. All right, let's see. Let's see. What do we get? Bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, boom. Come on. Let's do this. Franz Ferdinand, it's time to meet your maker. Oh man, dude. Look how fucking, look at this thing. It's just blocking everything. I mean, it's slowly sinking, but what a fucking great ship. I mean, it's got two battle lines shooting at it constantly. And it's just, no thank you. I'm not interested. What a Chad battleship. Look at this thing. No, BRP's out of everything, because someone made a video on it. A stimple was one of my things. I really badly wanted a stimple Suomi. I was saving up for one, and then, nope. God damn it. Look at this thing. 352, just bing bong, boom, zing, everything bouncing off. It's great. Oh. That's a battleship. Alright, my battle line has been shooting at the Franz Ferdinand for a while, but look at this renown. Look at it. Salute that motherfucking ship, dude. Holy shit. This is a name of glory. This is a name of glory. Look at all the blocks. Holy crap. What a magnificent machine. Still has active guns. It is noted. She's about done. See if I can get some torps off before I die. I doubt it with the damage, but... Mother of God. Shiny and chrome ride to Valhalla. Oh my god, we did hit it! We hit it! Look at that! As it goes down! It managed to strike a torpedo hit and nail it with a battery. What a fucking ship. We sank it. Fuck it, let's see if the rudder will answer. What a fucking fight, gentlemen. <laughs> what a ship. It is fighting like mad. It has no room for weaker, lesser vessels. What a good design, huh? Still alive. Still alive. Structure 0.8%. Point 0.6. <laughs> the fire just makes the bullets stronger. <laughs> what a ship! Holy fuck, the power of funnels compels you. Renown. 
Such a vessel, gentlemen, please. Please, stand in salute of this majestic vessel. It is just not dying. I don't know what isn't... I don't know what is and isn't operational. What a awesome fucking ship. It's still taking torpedoes. There she goes. Yeah, Goat should write a song about the renowned. Go on Goat's, uh... Go on Goat's YouTube and, uh... Go, go tell him... Go tell him to sing a song about the renowned. Scrambles? You are to fight Franz Ferdinand. Scrambles, that's your job. Your job is to fight Franz Ferdinand, Scrambles. Yeah. We should get him to write a song about the renown. The ship that fought a fleet. Of the Scrambles class. Majestic, shiny, and chrome she rode. She acted as a chalk for the enemy, while the rest of the fleet unfucked their rudders. Scrambles no like Franz Ferdinand. Scrambles kill. The scr- oh, the Renown just got rammed and took his ship out? Oh my god, it did! It struck from the depths and sank another vessel. Holy fuck, go Renown. Go Renown, even in death it slays. <laughs> the Renown, the ship that punched and dragged them to the grave. <laughs> oh, from hell's heart I stab at thee. The ship that hates. Redoubtable, sir. Redoubtable. I believe this man needs to die next. Oh, I love this game because the, the shit that happens is fun. <coughs> ah, yes, the Malaya. Here to pay you one of those old-timey visits. Advanced to flank speed? Aggressive on everything, boys. Good day, sir. Have you heard the good word of point-blank 16-inch gunfire? Good day. Let me sing you the song of the Ballad of Whitey Mac and many other naval heroes and John Paul Jones. Let us forward unto death and ride and remember the renown, you piece of shit. Here comes daddy, it's ramming speed. The burning boat is coming to boop and your choice is to be plowed under. Or stay and be rent asunder. I don't know why I'm rhyming. It's late. Here we go. Aw oh, man, he blew up. That's lame. Thought I was gonna be cool and ram him and shit. Hello? Oh, he's trying to leave. That's cheating. Well, fuck it. These guys... That's really... That's really not cool. I came all this way to run you down with 60 knots of mediocrity. Come here. I wish to boop you, sir. Sir! Aktung, boop and snootin'. <laughs> Aktung, schnitzel. Da da dun 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 da da dun 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 da 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 dun 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 da ba da dum bum 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 ba bum ba dum ba da dum ba da 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 da
would it surprise you to know that I know all the lyrics to HMS Pinafore or thereabouts? Oh dear. It appears the turrets decided to leave the ship prematurely. Most dreadful, that. Remember the renown, death to the stock. Alright, let's see. Let's watch this man die, shall we? Ah, yes, the battleship Stark! Ah, the Stark. Well, Mr. Stark. Ah. When I was a lad, I served a term and office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle of the big front door. And then you say, you know, he polished up the handle of the big front door because I'm like the lowly office boy. And then... I, I quip with a sneering smile, and I go, I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. And it's essentially a song about brown nosing and never doing anything, and just doing and being a yes man and getting promoted to First Lord of the Admiralty. And it's a great song. It's just poking fun at the incompetence of the Victorian appointment of First Lords of the Admiralty. So you have W.H. Smith being appointed the First Lord of the Admiralty, and he'd never been to sea and never sailed a boat, and he was the First Lord of the Admiralty. And so Gilbert and Sullivan have the First Lord of the Admiralty come out and sing a song about how he brown nosed his way into the job, and somehow Gilbert and Sullivan didn't get murdered for this. It was amazing shitposting. I love Gilbert and Sullivan. And if you want to get with Goat and talk about the Renown, you got to hit him up on that uh, YouTube, and he'll probably watch it. Yeah, Modern Major General's another send-up of, like, rich assholes trying to get their way into power, and it's pretty fucking good. Oh, Spike Jones and a City Slickers, man. I used to listen to those records with my granddad. I'd uh, bring him his record player when he was in the home. We'd listen to Spike Jones and the City Slickers and listen to him shit on the Nazis and stuff like that. And, you know, sing crazy songs and make fun of the big band music of the period. All really good shit poster stuff. All right, so it looks like I'm willing to say uh, I can win this hands down. So I got one more battle in me. One more battle, I think. And I'm going to leave this battle. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to... We're going to expand it to that, and we're going to expand it to 1922. And we're going to do one last battle. We're going to fight the United States over the possession of Hawaii. And uh, I'm going to take four battle cruisers and four battleships. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to do that and put the unlock on. And I'm going to have some fast boys in this one. So let's see. Dreadnought, 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 Dreadnought 4. Dreadnought 4, son of Dreadnought. All right, so we're going to go up here and we're going to make it big. And there's only one, one name that's perfect. Renowned class. Oh, I love Tom Lehrer. That guy's the shit. 60 knots are good enough for any man. 
quote Admiral Tax. Yeah, finally we can get gear turbines, turbo electric drive. We can finally get good power, advanced crop armor, all the business. Now we're in it to win it. All right, so now we're going to put this here. Where is that? We're going to put... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to embrace the stupid. Four hundred and six millimeter aim. Eh? Don't mind if I do. Now we're into the good millimeters. Okay, so I have two of those pretty far apart. Uh, I'm gonna need good range finders. I'm gonna need great acoustics. I'm gonna need rid all that. Better everything. I want super heavy shot. I don't care about reloading a rate of fire. It doesn't have to be fast. Now. You may have noticed I have lots and lots and lots and lots of room. And I know what goes in them now. You know what goes in them now. A funnel complex? What's a... Co no, I just want funnels. Ooh, long funnel? Yeah, long is the way to go. As you all know, eh, long funnels are the uh, chief are the chief uh, fun thing right here, and uh, that's what we need. Someone's just trying to call me, and it was Mister Catch, and uh, I'm going to assume. That if it was very important, he would call me back. Actually, I can put a new gun in the middle. Yes. I know the ship's overweight. Don't worry. It's about the funnels. Is this too many funnels? What's going on? Main guns on the sides? No, just front and back. I need apparently too many funnels. That's bullshit. I don't know why they hate me. All right, so I can only have one big funnel. That is the dumb. I guess the rest of the ship is just flat and boring. Fine. It's just a big, flat, boring ship. Fine. It's just going to be that way, and I'm just going to cry. Yeah, renown is simple. It doesn't need to be anything else. All this extra room is for barbecues. All right, so let's see. Um, no, don't have the weight or anything for more guns. I just don't, which sucks. All right, let's adjust these. All right, there we go. So this should be fine. It should be fine, fine, fine. All good all the time. Maybe. All right, so this will be the Renown 2. It's, I put everything into the guns. Really good guns, but I can't put any more funnels. There's no more weight. Armor is important for the Renown. You cannot make something soft. We have to make something proper. However, for the Zoomy boy, that's different. That's very different. I'm going to make this fast as fuck. Uh. All right, so let me think. Battle cruiser. Battle cruiser has to be fast. Yeah, Catch called me, he had a whiskey question. So that's important. I had to tap that out to him. Alright, so we're going to make this fast as fuck. Uh, if you want to know why you don't make ships this fast, you should probably go over to Subbrief. He'll tell you why ships shouldn't go this quick for a lot of reasons. He'll probably be like, 
Okay, here's what would happen if you drove one of Texas ships through anything. He would tell you exactly what would happen, and he would let you know why these ships are really bad ideas. Ooh, cage masts. Yeah, I want lightning strikes. That's what I want. All right, let me get give me let me get that cage mast. Come on, come on. That is the main. Oh wait, I can just do cage masts. Fuck yeah, let's do that. That'll be fun. Yeah, look at that. People are going to be like, why? And I'm going to be like, because I can. Yeah, Subbrief's a good channel. And he sometimes watches my rants and stuff. And he's like, cool. And he does like a thumbs up. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I mean, we could have fun. We could have fun with the with the thing. We could hang streamers from it and have them blowing in the breeze. Ooh, we could hang laundry from it. And I'm sorry, they're weird, but we're going to make the most we can. Look, just I want you guys right now as my crew to think of all the activities that we can do with these masts. I, you know, that's your job now. We need to think of all the activities. You know what? I don't need torp blisters. What the fuck am I thinking? It's battle cruiser. None of these things need to be anything. No, it just... Oh, wait. No. No, it just... Citadel 5. Ooh. Eh. There. I shaved some stuff. Jungle gems. Zipline. Ooh, zipline. That's a good one. All right, so I got room for funnels, obviously. Now, someone would tell me to compromise on the speed of I insisted on of 46 knots. And the answer is, under no circumstances will I compromise on the speed of 46 knots. Because that's what I think is really funny. And I, I'm going to do exactly that. So, fuck you. I'm going to have a really fast speedboat. And maybe I'll break the game here, so give me a minute. Uh, let's see, torpedo launcher. Fuck yeah, torpedo launchers. There we go. That's a lot of torpedoes. What do I want? I want the big dick torpedoes. Yes, I do. All right, so I'm going to do 275. And then uh, let's do... Let's weird these guys out. Let's have this thing just be horribly weird. And then we're going to do aft belt. We're going to do that. Superstructure. Yeah, let's make the superstructure like 40 millimeters of armor for no reason. Conning tower. Let's do 420. Oh. And then we'll do four belt. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's give her ample provisions. All right, so then aft belt. We'll round that out because got to get that hourglass. And then we're going to take that and expand that. And uh, what do we got? 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 50? 50. No 50, 60, 60, no, not 60, 75, 75, 75. Do I hear 90? 90, I hear 90. 105. 105 millimeters of that because that's hilarious. I might name this the renown. Yes, we have a new renown. It is better. It is very much better. Okay, that's a little over. That's a little over. That's a little over. That, none of that's going to happen. What What can we do? Reinforce? No. No. Just fucking fuck it. Fucking fuck it. All right, let's do uh, 120. All right, that's right on the money. Yeah, all right. Now let's back out, and I'm just going to take battle cruisers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to take battle cruisers. What? No. No. Error available? Oh, right. I forgot. Uh -huh. There we go. All right, let's launch these. HMS Chonker. Yeah. 
du Puy de Lome was built for the French Navy during the 1895, and it was considered by many to be the weirdest looking piece of shit anyone ever made. No one liked it, and its crew was very sad. Next! Alright, here we go. Alright, boys. We're cracking along at a, 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 a modest, uh, a modest 41 knots. Ah, yes. Let's just use AP at our modest 41 knots in the 20s. Ah, yes, yeah, shoot back. Bring it. Alright, that was an actual bad hit right there. All right, boys. <coughs> We're going to turn. Yeah, the size of these engines would be catastrophic. The sound they would make you would hear in other countries. You would just be like, what the fuck? It looked like weather changing. Like when they turn the engines on, you just see smoke part the heavens. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do a nice. Oh wow, that's good maneuvering there, Queen Fa uh, Favorite, Battle Cruiser Favorite. Really, Thunder great, Renown great, Bellerophon great, Lord Clyde, ugh. Colossus great, Penelope. I mean, that's like naming something Skittles. It's it's not gonna have the same thing. I hmm. All right, so next podcast, I don't know. Uh, we. We just put one out uh, on Friday, so um, we we put one out usually every Friday. We've thought about cutting them down to every two weeks just so we have more time to think about stuff to talk about or more ideas to catch up on um, and uh, fun things like that. Can you imagine, like, a really embarrassing ship name to get sunk on? Like, oh, yeah, Grandpa. Yeah, it's, you said Gianni. Gianni Greco. Uh, could you imagine where it's just like, oh, yeah, Granddad went down on the Skittles. Like, ah, oh, yes, our brave lads on the Skittles. All right, you know what? They are 22 clicks out, and I'm going to chase them down. Will I be talking about Dune? I don't know. I do I do answer a lot of questions. As many and frequently as possible. I answer them on the Patreon, I'm answering in the comments. I I answer them here as best I can. Oh man, these things are fast. All right, so Penelope took one lucky hit, but came back pretty good. Holy shit, look how fast these are. I mean, the whole formation's doing 43 knots. Problem is, they're not as tough. I mean, I up-armored them, but they're still battle cruisers. Who do I know about Halo? I love the setting. Um, I think it was a really good setting for the first, like, three games. And it had a great expanded lore. Had really competently written books. Um, the only thing I just didn't like was when it it got weird around the when Bungie got tired of making them, and then it just strange. And I I've heard great things about the Dune movie. I'm a Dune fanatic. I I love Dune. I've I've read it every year since I was eight, and it's it's been like special. Oh look, there's the Texas. There can be only one, sir. Oh, wow, he's approaching fuck around range. Yes. Look how fast I'm closing. It looks like they're sitting still. You may fire when ready. <laughs> Division, fire when ready. Yes, please. And let's switch to HE and just burn these fuckers down, shall we? All right, let's do this. All 
All right. We're getting in close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's blocking. Bellerophon, living up to your name. Excellent. Oh, yes, the torpedoes are doing quite well. Apparently, I have 72 torpedoes on board. That's awesome. You should shoot the fuck out of those. I mean, look how fast I'm going compared to these enemy ships that are just sitting, like, still. This is amazing. Alright, time to turn and leave. Oh, torpedo beats. I am not Euro, so this isn't gonna go- Whoa, shit! Oh, that was close. You can't destroy me. I am a mighty warrior. Holy shit, I torpedoed the Texas. Look, it's Marilyn, you're next. That's her banning all the cool guns. Take that. I hope some of them torps land. God, dude, it's like a drive-by on a Ski-Doo, man. Look how fast this thing is. Oh, yeah, you can bolt up a bolt action. Just why would you want to? Look at this. I mean, it's just like cruise. <laughs> they can't kill it. It's too fucking fast. Like, the, look, they're all doing donuts. Just shooting the enemy at range. They can't do anything about it. I mean, my battle line is everywhere, but who who cares? There's the Renown having fun. All right, Renown. Let's go up there and have some... Let's go, let's go zoom zoom some boys. Let's do... Let's go show them our zoomies. Here we go. Speed was always the answer. I mean, this is a capital ship drive-by, and the last time I saw one of the- Oh my god, ten torpedo hits hit the Maryland. And that guy's already leaving at speed. That's amazing. Um, wow. These things are great. We're just driving by at 40, 43 knots and just shooting torps everywhere. The Renown. Hello. Did you miss me? I'm back. These things are basically very large destroyers. Oh, he shot torpedoes. Oh, everyone's shooting torpedoes. It's like Pac-Man now. Waka, waka, waka. Okay, and, yeah, okay, that's two groups of torpedoes missed, so fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Still took flooding from something. Oh god, I might cross the path of that torpedo again. Can't act all cocky now. Well, see, the budget said I could only have so much money for destroyers, so... I built destroyers. Uh, only destroyers, just... Kind of big boy ones, you know. All right, I'm gonna turn the uh, AI on. I'm gonna turn the AI on and get these guys to start crossing ocean, and I will micromanage one ship at a time. Is my flagship. All right, the Queen Mary is coming in. I'm gonna drive you. Actually, I'm gonna detach you from the division. You guys drive with the AI on. I'm gonna drive the Queen Mary now. Let's have fun with friends, shall we? With our very fast ships. I mean, the enemy is trying... Oh, they're gunning down the Renown again. Is it going to be a meme? The Renown sinks every few years? I mean, this thing did a drive-by on the whole fleet. And is leaving. It is leaving at... Well, okay, it's not doing its full speed, obviously. But shit. It is just like, nah, I will see you later. Oh my god, look at all those torps. It looks like screen static. Holy shit. Alright, New York. You have fucked around. I have chosen you to find out. Here I come, flexing the gun show. Ow, the bridge is... No, they got the funnel, even worse. 
Where will I hang my meat? We are mighty warriors. Oh, oh no, look. The Oklahoma sunk because of structural damage over there. And how's the Bainbridge going to do? Oh my god, I have Torps incoming. Uh, that's bad. Yeah, all right. Queen Mary exploded. I ran right into a bunch of Torps. Remember how I saved weight? One of those things was torpedo blisters. One of the ways to avoid torpedoes is to just not... Not hit them. This is why submariners call uh, surface ships targets. Alright, so I've got two crippled ships, one sinking. And five pretty good ones. Uh, they've got... One... Two... Three... I mean, yeah, I'm winning this. This isn't bad. What is my favorite tank? I don't know. I'd have to think about that. I always kind of like the look of the Ram too. I like the idea of like a fast firing lighter, high velocity gun. It's it's kind of a funny thing. All right, so I'm going to shoot this guy in his dick hole. With my guns. All right, let's, let's, there we go. Let's let him have some. The Renown lived. Let it be known, the Renown lived this time, but barely. The Renown is, is very much disengaging. She took a belting. I mean, that is a bad list. That'll take a long time to correct. I mean, you're looking at years. Years in the fucking yard. The favorite, though, drifting at 42 knots. Favorite real-time strategy. Uh, Sins of a Solar Empire or uh, Forged Alliance Forever mod um, for uh, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Uh, used to be StarCraft II. Uh, used to be. All right, let's see. All righty. So we are closing range. We're going to smash. And are these things worth repairing? That's for the yards to decide. That's a that's I mean at that point it's like, "Hey, We'll strip it down to the keel, and we'll make it really nice, and we'll rebuild it better, bigger and better, and you can use that as an overhaul. Oh my god, you fucking idiots. Look at this. <laughs> you idiots. Oh god. Alright, so that's gonna be, uh, you know what? I'm gonna call this one a draw. I'm going to call this one a draw. We, we're we keeping our range at each other, so I'm going to do one more battle. We're going to do maximum stupid. We're going to return to battleships because of the inconclusiveness, and it's going to go back. The rules changed. The rules changed. There was a change in the rules committee. And they said you have to go back to 5,000 meters. You have to go back to 5,000 meters, and you can only bring two battleships each, each because of the cost of battleships. And we got to take it to the Jerry's. That's what we're going to do. Oh, this is that thing I built earlier. This is one of my stupid ideas, the Churchill. It was really bad. All right, so as you can see, I have a lot of battleship hull classes that normally wouldn't be available to me. So Super Battleship 2, Super Battleship 2, Super Battleship. You know what? I'm going to take the one on the very end, Super Battleship 2. Um, doesn't even fit in the dry dock. Probably goes through the houses at the end. I'm just going to go for the biggest fucking thing I can. I mean, yeah, there's modern battleships, experimental battleships, all sorts of battleships. This is usually uh, actually limited by the nation. Uh, it's, it's usually limited by the uh, nation in question. So let's see. 
What you need to do is, well, I don't know, modernized dreadnoughts could be pretty fucking sexy. Ooh, the N3 NG. Oh, that's a good one. Actually, yeah, we'll go back and we'll go back to just our standard hull stuff, the stuff we'd have, right? So then I can take this, the N3 G3 class. This is going to be some next tier shit. You can actually go read that. Now, it won't be the biggest. Oh, man, super battleship, though. Super battleship. Super battleship. Uh, yeah, we got to get super battleship. All right. What super battleship it is, boys? Super battleship. Ocean class? No, it's going to be named Renown. And it's speed. 16 knots. We will change nothing. We have learned nothing. We tried all speed once. It was insufficient. All right. Now let's build the war crime boat. Actually, in this world, there would be no war crimes. It, it would just be solved in a very bloody, very brief battle. And that would be it. So, yeah, the anti-war crime boat. How's that? Renown will carry its name proud. And it will be a copy of the original Renown. A, a, a variation of its brave theme. With three massive funnels. Massive funnels. The biggest funnels the yard can make. There we go. Alright, so there's a bit of an aft weight offset. So I need to make the front worse. And 508 millimeter gun sounds like a great what? Four barrels? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. Super firing. Done and done. <coughs> Handled. Uh, torpedo launchers. Probably should. Uh... Let's see, 203 mils, three barrels, yep. And one right there, ought to do just fine. And then uh, torpedo launchers, five, yeah, we're going to put giant ones back here. And then we'll just make them huge, 24-inch torpedoes. So we'll be just shooting buses at people. All right, yeah. Oh, parts are badly placed. No, they're not. They're great. Which parts? I don't see any. No, works. Good. Looks fine. Mm-hmm. Guns. Guns are good. Yep. Torpeders. All right, there. Is that them? Yeah, it was them. All right, fine. I might be able to do three guns super firing, but I want to stick true to the dumbness of my design and the uniqueness of its stupidity. It's going to be running on diesels. All right, let's see. Mid-belt. Ah, come on. There we go. Let's be a man. Mid-deck armor, 200. Aft, uh, four-deck armor, 200. Oh, that's too much. 100. Aft-deck, 100. Superstructure, uh, let's try 90 mil. Nine? No, 90. Too much, 80. Too much, 75. Right on the money. Let's do this thing. Let's launch this motherfucker. Extra thick. Extra thick. Extra thick. All right, so. I like my women like I like my battleships. Able to kick my ass. All right, so here we go. Into the circle of doom! Wow, that's actually remarkably normal looking. It just looks like a stretch Bismarck fucked a Yamato. I kind of like it. Oh, I like it. Their battleship looks better. Man. God damn it. Oh no, we had a flash fire because that barbette I forgot to reinforce. Well, something appears to be wrong with the renown today. I say. It appears we're in some, uh, measure of trouble. Ah, oh, dear. Thick thighs take lives. It's almost like it was paper thin or something. Ah, well. 
At least I fired way too many torpedoes. All right, Renown. Uh, it's time for you to leave the battle. Uh, reset? No. Hell no. Embrace the stupidity of it. I made a fucky wonky. Shit happens, man. That's why you gotta be really stupid. Alright, so I hit him with some business. Oh yeah, they're like, that's a heavy cruiser. No, it's not. It's a battleship. It's a battleship brand battleship. It's shaped and sized like a battleship. Oh, look at that. Look at that fucker. Alright, Division 2. We're gonna use the HE on him. 20 inch HE. Well, no. Was it 18 or 20 inch? I'm bad at my metrics. Oh my god. How burned. Renown's the only one left. With one turret. My god, Renown. The cheese stands alone. Fight. Fight. Love how it says sink, not battle line. What are you doing? Sink. Oh. I, I say we might lose. Oh, so terrible. So terrible. All right, let's, uh, let's rebuild the ship. <laughs> All right, so we fucked up. We fucked up real bad. Uh, we got way too ambitious. We thought it was funny, though. So, uh, let's end this on a high note. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to this thing where it says Barbat, and we're actually going to put that on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. Something wrong with our bloody ships today. <laughs> British. All right, so we're going to do 90, and then we're going to do 450, and then we're going to do uh, 125. One, yeah, 120. Yeah, that sounds good. 120, 120, 120, 120. All right. So the uh, mid-deck... Oh, my God. Can I do 150? Yes, I could. All right, 145. Yeah, these decks thick as fuck. All right, 140. Uh-huh, 140. Oh, there we go. And oof. That was amazing, though. Is something wrong with our bloody ships today? I say, take the bottom up there. I say Spain's British and we'll have some butter in stock. Oh, that's what, what, ah, British. All right, so, wow, that was amazing. Turret armor, they said. Yeah, we're at way too point-blank range for, uh, whoever hits who first at this is bad. Turret armor techs, I forgot. Oh, those are great explosions, though. Oh, look at those shells bounce off. Oh. The renowned blub blub. My shells do nothing. I'm gonna sink since they pierced that magazine. I fired a bunch of torpedoes. Oh, wow. The renowned fired a bunch of torpedoes too. That's a lot of torpedoes. This is many torpedoes. Some seem to have struck our friend here. It would be a shame if they continued to be fired. Oh, poor Renown and Barham. They sunk terribly. All right, boys and girls. Uh, tell you what, I am going to uh, sign off for the evening. And just remember, uh, be nice to each other out there. Thanks for showing up. And uh, oof. What's some bad luck? I got a headache from all that uh, ship fighting. It's all that flashing on the screen. <laughs> the things I do for you guys. All right, stay safe out there. And uh, catch you on the flip side.